All right, I think we're I think we're live. I think we're on air. Welcome everybody. I'm very excited to be here for episode two of Roll Call. Uh, we're playing the Game of Thrones board game. You either win or you roll to die. Uh, my name is Grace. I am your host. I have invited five wonderful friends to join me to play the Game of Thrones. Uh, let me introduce them by house. Uh, first, we'll start up north, uh, playing the role of the Starks today. Uh, the wonderful DM Philly. Philly, how you doing? I am excellent. I'm so excited, Grace, to be in Westeros. I got the Starks. I'm very ready to get destroyed by my enemies in terrible fashion. Uh, it should be a fun afternoon. Um, playing the role of the Greyjoys today, uh, Kirsten McKinnis. Kirsten, how you doing? I think this is very fitting that I got the Greyjoys. <laughs> this is not <laughs> going to go well for me. Uh, we shall see. You're, uh, you're out to sea a little bit. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, down in, uh, in Casterly Rock, we have, uh, the, the role of the Lannisters. Uh, hey, Mike Bloom, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Uh, just in honor of the Lannisters, I will not be taking a bathroom break because I'm fearful what happens to the Lannisters when they're on the toilet. Damn it, that was my whole plan. <laughs> I've got a crossbow. Uh, oh, no. way over, uh, in King's Landing, currently occupying the Iron Throne, uh, repping the House of Baratheon, Baratheon, it's Puya Zampakili. Puya, how you doing? I am good. Let's go hunt some boar, folks. Let's do it. Boar. I'm excited. Wrong show. Uh, down in High Garden, representing House Tyrell. Taryn, how you doing? Taryn Tyrell. Taryn Tyrell, the two T's, the three towers. Uh, I'm I'm a Tyrell. Here we go. I'm gonna. I've got Loris. I've got Marjorie. Got Lady Olena. Yeah. Other uh, than that, the Tyrells suck though. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. Mace. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Mace Terrell is a good Mace. guy, okay? Uh, and I will be playing uh, down in Dorne. I'm playing with House Martell. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I'm very excited. Let's let's quickly explain uh, what we're doing here today. I'll give you a brief rundown uh, of, of the rules. Um, so the object of this game, to control seven castles or strongholds. I often equate this game to very complicated risk. So uh, uh, nobody here else, nobody else has played. Uh, so I promise, I, I've said this, nobody believes me. I'm not here to like win and dominate. Uh, I'm just here to have fun. Um, if no player controls seven castles or strongholds by the end of 10 rounds, or we're gonna set a time limit for our game, uh, then the player with the most castles wins. Um, there's some other tiebreak rules that we'll get into if we are tied. Um, this game is played in three phases. I'm gonna skip the first phase because it doesn't come up in the first round. That's how complicated this game is, is that one of the phases doesn't even happen in, in round one. Uh, the most important phase is the planning phase. That's the fan, uh, phase we're in right now. I'm gonna switch over to our, our board here. Um, What's gonna happen is you are going to tell all of your armies what to do. There are five different orders you can give your armies. You can tell them to move. Uh, they can either move into an unoccupied territory or you can move into a territory where there is another army, in which case a battle would ensue. Uh, you can choose to defend, so add, uh, uh, you know, uh, make sure that your, your territory, if you believe you're gonna get attacked, you can defend. You could support, which means you support an adjacent uh, battle in an area. Uh, you can consolidate power. You can get some power tokens, uh, which come in, for, uh, in handy later, or you can raid, and there's a few things you can do with a raid. You can get rid of some of the tokens on the board. You can't raid a movement uh, uh, action, but anything else, pretty much, uh, or defend. You can't raid a defense, but everything else is fair game. And then we'll resolve those actions and see what happens. Should we just get started? I'm a learning by doing, unless there's any other questions to start off this uh grace word yes. is that the audio is low on the stream okay like the our call audio what if we just talk louder oh i could do oh. that oh no <laughs> no now you're in my territory word is mike your audio is fine it's everyone else that's the issue <laughs> <laughs> that actually sounds about right yeah the volume of, of that and everything else i'm gonna i'm gonna turn i'm gonna turn the music down the game uh, let me know if that uh, uh, fixes it. Uh, should we get started? Oh, it was just you, Grace. Everyone else was fine. Apparently, it's only oh. your audio that's low. Here. We'll do that. Okay. Uh, let me know how mic. that is. I'll turn up my mic. Um, cool. Should we get started? Yeah. Let's, let's do it. So let's what you're going to do, it. what you're going to do, you're just going to click on all your little, all your armies that you have. Uh, any any area where you have a unit, including your ships, uh, you, can, you can tell them what to do. Uh, you just give them orders. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay, I have I have a question. Yes. What should I do with this ship? <laughs> so that's a very good question, actually. So uh, I think, I think the... we should leave our ships alone, Taryn. We should just make an agreement to you not <laughs> use our ships. Everyone, so... we make a non-aggression pact with ship-based warfare. Wow. Oh, okay, interesting. Uh, I'll actually give you uh, one thing that is a little bit confusing. In this game. There's also ports, uh, and I, I wasn't mm -hmm. gonna bring it up, but now you have a port. So you actually have a ship and a port, which is actually separate from. Uh, so you can actually give it a separate action than the one that you that you have in um, you have a ship in Iron Man's Bay. Um, so you can give those t you can give each of those things a separate order. Like you might want to move your port out, and then you can move your Iron Man's Bay ship out into the Sunset Sea. For are you again. talking to me or are you talking to oh, sorry, Iron, Iron, Man. Iron Man's Bay? What a crossover! Okay, Iron, Man. Iron Man is Bay, in my um, opinion. I'm more of a Cap guy. So oh, so uh, I'll just give you some uh, ships. The most so first of all, they can they could fight. Uh, you could you could fight using uh, ships. Um, uh, Ships are pretty uh, important uh, in terms of uh, one of the things that they do, as I was saying this before, is an uh, analogy I use a lot or a thing I say is ships are a bridge. So if you have two pieces of if you have a piece of land, um, Taryn, you were asking, you could actually via your ship like you could move a unit from your three towers uh, uh, area into your high garden area or actually reverse. You could actually move. Uh, a knight for you could like move your knight in high garden down to three towers because they can like pass through the ship does that make sense okay yeah no so like otherwise i'd have to go like one by one yeah so you, like it's, down, it's quicker to move your just... unit like if you have a ship in so uh kirsten a good example is you can move uh you can move your units from pike you can move a unit from pike to anywhere adjacent to iron man's bay so uh flint's finger there's a castle up there sea guard um they can they can move via the ship. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't have to move everyone, right? I, have to, don't, I don't have, have to, to put orders on everybody. No. Okay. Uh, oh, you want to put orders on everybody? Um, uh, but sometimes you like kind of run out of things to do with your with your uh, armies, if that makes sense. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just kind of clicking. So if I. This doesn't make sense. Yeah. Uh, I I apologize because uh, I have no effing clue what I just did. Okay, I think I did it. So again, the the purpose of the game is to like control the most castles and and strongholds. The the sort of like white silvery ones are castles. The more like orangey coppery ones are are strongholds. Um, castles are better because. Um, they when you're mustering new armies uh it's you can muster more units at a castle so like a good move for you kirsten would be to like move a unit from pike to probably seaguard and and gain control of, of seaguard or river run uh, although that's closer to the lannisters so yeah yeah get out of my territory listen i gotta tell you i already clicked all my things and i, do, I don't you know can what change I them but yeah it's just happening. It's just we're. I'm just uh, here so to have fun. Well, I know I what happens when a Greyjoy gets hungry for power. Okay? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You get, your, you get your penis cut off. True. Oh my god. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. We were that's, confused that's about when you what get you hungry. meant. <laughs> When should I use the raven? Can I use it now or do I use it later? So, um, the raven... Yeah, find out how strong the wildlings are. So, Mike, there's two things you can do with the raven. The raven is pretty great. Again, I was saying before that I really like uh, having control of the raven because the first thing you could do is, yeah, you could look at what the next wildling threat is and see, and if you... When we fight the wildlings, if you submit, submit the most power tokens, um, then you get an advantage when we beat the wildlings. Um, if we all lose to the wildlings, then something bad happens to all of us and something worse happens to the person who contributed the least amount of uh, uh, tokens. And in case of a tie, that's where Puya is going to get to break those ties. Um, yeah. The other thing you can do with the token, with the raven uh, symbol, Mike, is you could, after we flip all of our tokens, you could switch one of your tokens. So if you're like, oh, oh somebody's coming to attack me, I better put a defense token instead of uh, whatever I put instead. You can switch one, but you can only do one of those two things. Okay. Uh, okay. What do we do when we're done? So, uh, yeah, if you click, uh, th I believe, at, oh, the, the, at the bottom, you can just confirm. Um, oh, interesting. Yeah. Sorry, I think we I... probably should play a sec. I feel like the second game is going to be... <laughs> 
Here's what I would say. Here's what I would say. <laughs> it's a real we're, game. We're going to, yeah, we'll play today. Uh, perhaps like when season two of House of the Dragon comes out. I'll bring you all back and we'll play a, a, the real game. <laughs> we'll remember in <laughs> That's uh, right. two years. That's right. Yeah, it'll be right at the top of the mem memory. All right now, I'm, I'm still not seeing where to. So at the very bottom, it should say um, confirm your orders or something like that. Uh, it should be like a little scroll that's at the bottom of your screen. Oh, I see. Okay. I have two places to assign it. Okay, now I'm realizing. Yeah, make sure you, you do have to give orders to all of your armies. Sometimes you're, like, doing nothing. But, like, if you have an extra Consolidate Power token, that's a free that's a free token you could get. There we go. Okay. Um, sometimes you put a raid token and there's nothing to do. Uh, all right. So, we are unveiling the tokens. Oh, no. So, the first thing that's going to happen is the raid uh, orders will get... Uh, oh, no. Uh, so, a Mike Bloom... Oh, Mike Bloom, you're going to choose... You could either again. You, you could can swap one of your tokens. Uh, yeah, to I got. I got to take a look as to what's happening around me, just to make sure there's no malarkey. It looks like. Oh, okay, interesting. It looks. I think we're good. I'm gonna do. Yeah. So take a peek at the wildling. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, threat. Uh, right now the wildling threat is only at two out of twelve, which means we we collectively have to submit two power tokens to beat. The okay. Wildlings. Uh, should I do? You, should no. I read what it says? No, it's secret. If you would, I mean. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, read no, what you it can, says. Wait, no, no, you should read yeah, what it says. Give it up. Give it up. I mean, up. like, I can tell you because it literally is nothing. It's a card called Silence at the Wall. And the things that happen on either side of the victory is literally nothing. <laughs> well, oh. I don't think Mike has played enough to, to fake <laughs> uh, a card so far. But so I'm, let me be Team Chaos. I'm going to put this on the bottom. Yeah, you can put it on the bottom. Oh, that sounded like a good card, though. Exactly. I want the bad okay. card. So there was no oh no raid orders. So uh, Puya uh, is up first. Uh, you can choose to oh, move one of your move uh, you think you only have one. You just have some people in Dragon Stones. You could choose to move uh, those folks. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, cool. Um, when you're moving your armies, uh, unless you are fighting somebody else, in, in which case you can only move Let into one territory. Um, otherwise, you uh, you can you can move them in as many different directions as you would like. Um, Mike, you are up. Uh, so you can move. Mike's in the lead, I think, now. <laughs> oh, boy. Right. What did he do? What does, that mean? Like... what does it mean to be in the lead in so, this game? Come so, on. Let me tell you. Mike, Mike moved uh, an army from Lannisport into River Run, so now controls two castles. Uh, although, I think some people else, some other people own two castles, probably. Um, I'm really rich so. in general, so. Oh, no, rich man. is rich. I am. I'm rich. How it's do you get me. it to automatically follow what's happening? My hey. camera's stuck. Oh, really? It's just, uh, it's just leave automatically me alone. following me. So I was just going to note that, uh, so Philly moved out of his capital, moved uh, someone into the stony shore. What's in there is a little, um, there is a barrel, and the barrel is a, a supply token, which means that uh, eventually when we get to resupply, um, Philly might be able to build bigger armies than than us. I mean, also, back off. And also, so was that good, Grace? I, I'm not menacing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not menacing, Chris. Yeah. I just I, you're I, I like only heading all your people towards me. Yeah, no, 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 I, went to north. I went to the north. I, I, I have to deal with the wildlings. The wildlings are coming. <laughs> and then, and then uh, Philly also took Moat Kalen with a uh, with a knight. So yeah, good move. Um, I'm going to. We could be neighbors, Kirsten. It's okay. Well, we are neighbors. Yeah. And I'm uh, scared. Good I'm gonna castles move, make good neighbors. I'm going to move oh a God. unit into Ironwood. Um, and keep... Uh, I'm going to use a power token to keep the salt shore so I can keep my supply. Um, Kirsten, your, your move. You, you have uh, your ships moving, looks like. Yeah. I want to go to the ocean. Yes, you could move. Uh, Wait, no, that's not what I meant to do. What did I you do? You haven't done anything yet, I don't think. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> well, it went somewhere where I didn't want it to go. When I, I how do you move them? So how do you control these boats? Click the one, click, whichever one you want to move first. So you want to move your one in Iron Man's Bay out to Sunset Sea, probably. And then just click on the boat and then click Sunset Sea, I think. That should work. No, I can't. No. Apparently, I can't do that. Um, you definitely should be able to do that. There's no reason why you shouldn't. Um. No, why is it like this? 
<laughs> I should not have been given the one with boats. I'm just yeah, going to tell so you. Yeah, sorry. It was now. all random. It was all random. Um, wait, but so how, it, it won't let me move it to Sunset Sea. Uh, can you move, uh, I mean, nobody's going to take Sunset Sea before you, can you, are you able to, like, move your port, uh, boat first? Can you, like, try resetting? Um, move your port boat into Iron Man's Bay, see if you can do that. Hmm. I don't think I should be here. <laughs> right now. <laughs> How do you move it? I need help. You have to click on the actual little guy. So like, yeah, once I clicked. Whole... I clicked on the little guy, but then when I'm trying to move it, I can I can only make it move between to where the other little boat is inside. Are you on the one in your port? The port is the one that is furthest to the outside yes. correct yeah that yes. one can't move right to the sunset sea sorry uh can only move out to iron man's bay okay uh, you can well, only move yeah sorry you can move from uh, a port to the sea and then you can see to adjacent ooh, sea territory okay got it yeah, got it sorry. okay yeah oh, that that makes sense. well then that makes sense why i was yeah confused. there we go all right Whoa, i was very worried that... go. <laughs> back and forth what? <laughs> yeah, because I was trying to figure it out. I was like, what's going on? Oh, oh my god. No. <laughs> this see now while I was doing this, I was going, why why isn't it doing what I wanted to do? It's hilarious. It's good, you gotta patrol the perimeter, you know. Alright, Taryn. Your move. Taryn moves. Yeah, there we go. Uh, one into Old Town and one into the Reach. Everybody's taking. Am I winning it? Everyone's taking castles. Yeah. That's what you're That's supposed to do, right? That is right. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, you said that like you were surprised that we were doing it, which makes me think that's no, no, not no, what no. we should be doing. No, it's, that's it. exactly what you should be doing. Yeah. Oh jeez. Uh, like I'm gonna take Storm's End. Oh, isn't that a Baratheon oh, castle? Oh, the Baratheons might not be too happy about hey. it. Oh, jeez. Oh. Ornish, you're taking it. So now, Kirsten, you can move your your um, your ship okay, from I Iron see Man's Bay into the Sunset Sea. And actually, one thing I will note is you can sort of like... We like want to see. You can move your um, units in sort of like a path. If like, Because Kirsten moved a ship into Iron Man's Bay and then could move both of those ships into the Sunset Sea, if mm. that makes sense. Yeah, Taryn, interesting. Uh, I always I like Taryn. My favorite thing um, about being the Martell, or uh, sorry, the Tyrell sometimes, is getting someone in the arbor and then just consolidating power down there, which essentially I just think is making, you're just making good wine. Yeah. You're, that's that's <laughs> the equivalent of just camping in Australia. In Wait, so if I move this ship, then I can't <laughs> you won't travel be able to use it. my lands anymore. That's right. But the thing right. that, so, I mean, you could risk it and then hope that you get to muster in the Westeros phase. You can muster a ship into the sea. Um, but yeah, you wouldn't be able to use it uh, next turn if you do. If you oh, I case. see. Yeah. But then if I do move it, I can move. Do, um, what do the ships do? Like, is it important to control seas? I mean, they're very useful in terms Only of, again, that... Only for me, <laughs> as a pirate. Just... <laughs> you should stay in the As a port. pirate. Yeah. Um, in terms of being able to use them as a bridge, and, and then, yeah, like, I, it is, it can be useful to control the seas, yes. I just noticed that the, the like, picture that Kirsten has for the your Greyjoys is freaking Euron Greyjoy your own, out yeah. of all them. It's fantastic. Yeah. Listen, let me live. Literally, though, let, please let me live. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, oh, I did kind of forget this. You can, if you, uh, if you use the crown with the star, you can muster, um, which is what uh, Taryn just did. Okay. okay. Uh, so we were in the Westeros phase. We were in round two. Um, we were going to recruit new units in, in strongholds and castles. So great idea for anybody who moved into a, a castle or stronghold. Um, so you can all muster. Uh, in a castle, you get two points. Uh, a footman is worth uh, one point. A ship is worth one point. A knight is worth two points. Upgrading from a uh, footman to a knight, I believe, is worth one point. Uh, 
And I believe this is done in order. Oh, I have to as, choose areas to well. muster. Yeah. All right, muster Sally. Here we go. Let's muster. Is there a setting to follow people around? There might be. Um... Hmm. I don't think so. Oh, what oh no! What happened? We got a, a an alliance made. It's <laughs> all oh, no. the high realms and the Baratheons little... are conspiring. Yeah, <laughs> those are. Wait, what, hold on. What happened to secrecy? I thought it was gonna yeah. be secret. This is <laughs> no. Hold on, hold on. That's very funny that it says Puyan Terran have made a secret pact. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Secret my ass. <laughs> what the hell? Good to that know. That was Darius with the good word, you know. Once Grace <laughs> pulled up next to me, I was like, "Yeah, no, I need, I, saw, I need people." I you saw didn't... a little thing on the chat. I was like, well, "What's this?" <laughs> oh my god! Wow, not so two, secret, is it? Two can play at that game, I think. How do I? <laughs> well, Wait, good what to is... know. Good Wait, to what know. does the what does warn of threat mean? Will it just be like everyone watch out for this person? Yeah, let's try. Let's try that. Yeah. Warn... Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, how do you do that? You just click on the warn of threat. It's the horn. Warn then... of threat. Oh, of course. <laughs> if you're the only one who's played before, you're a big threat. That's actually totally fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Guys, watch out for Blackwater. <laughs> I've heard the bay is not a fun place to be. What the fuck? <laughs> um, the other thing, uh, there are siege units in this game as well. Siege units are worth four in combat, whoa, but whoa. they but they are uh, they're worth zero unless you're you're going after a castle uh, or a stronghold. It's just yeah, um, they're very powerful but very weak. Oh, secret power. Wow! <laughs> so wait, so Mike, you're telling me you did not accept my alliance request, uh -oh. but you accepted Puya's. Good to know. Good oh, no, here to you go. know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel great about this. What is this? Hold on, uh, Philly, are you feeling left out? <laughs> yeah, I'm lonely in the north. Oh, well, I sent you an alliance request. <laughs> <clears throat> I guess it is kind of, it's kind of Game of Thrones. Like, you can't really do much in secret, you know? Yeah, I wonder how you play this in person, right? Are you, like, slipping each other so, notes under the table? So we did like, play, we, 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 yeah. we normally did, we were, like, texting or whatever, but there was one game we played where you had to fly a raven, which was you had to write on paper and send a little raven. <laughs> into like, Aw, uh, that's cute. Yeah, send it across, yeah. Well, when I've played Diplomacy in the past, we've normally played where there's, like, one turn a day and then you have like a day to be texting and talking to people oh, about yeah. making mm. alliances and stuff Ooh, in november should we just play diplomacy oh. <laughs> one uh, once per day whoa wow i figured it you, out i you can't my call ravens. a threat and then befriend them kirsten <laughs> what i, think you, I you... didn't i didn't make an agreement with grace Oh, okay. Grace is coming for my ass here, based not, on what's I'm happening not. around me. Okay, so uh, uh, this one, we all you you get a, a, a power token for each power token that's on land that you own, uh, essentially. Um, so, and then uh, okay, March plus one orders cannot be played. This planning phase uh, is what happened in our reigns. Oh, of interesting. Autumn. So we so yes. we can't go anywhere. You, no, you oh. can. You can play March orders. It's just if you have a plus one march order, you cannot plan. Oh, one. okay, okay. Okay. Um, so now we we all plan. Oh, is this where we put down the tokens again, or is this when we bid? Uh no, this is uh this is planning. So give your armies some orders. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Um, so each each action that you can take has a regular action. So there's like a regular raid, there's a regular defense, like a defense plus one, there's a regular support. Um, 
there also is a star action um, for each uh, order. So this one we weren't allowed to play plus one march orders, which means uh, um, essentially when you're attacking, you would get plus one to your to your um, to your bonus. Um, so you can't play those this round. Uh, the difference between a normal raid and a raid with a star is that a raid with a star can take out a defense token. Um, uh, you get an extra power token if you play a power token with a star, or you can muster if you put it in a castle. Um, the defense ones are more powerful. The support ones are more powerful, essentially. So, um, Puya, I promise I'm not coming up. Uh, okay, I don't. More north so, than that, you know? so am I not able? I'm only able to move in my area because nothing else highlights when I try and move. Uh, so you're not moving. You're, you're planning, right? We're all planning. Is yeah, but it doesn't let me click on stuff that isn't Baratheon owned. Like, you yes. know, for like my move orders. And so you stuff. Well, because you're choosing what you're going to move. Then yes. when the order is taken, then you can click on where you want to go. Oh, yep. that. that makes sense. That makes sense. That's that's logical. Oh my God, I there. knew something. Yeah, Chris. Uh, another did? thing that up. people should know, you can't consolidate power in the sea. <laughs> uh, so don't put a consolidate power in the sea. Uh, and also, um, your land armies can't support a sea battle, but your sea, your ships can support a land battle. So you can use support tokens in the sea to support a land battle, but not the other way around. Gotcha. All right. Confirm. We'll see how that goes. Oh, man. Yeah, no battles yet. I am very stressed. I think we're someone's waiting to draw first blood before, like... Oh, it's about to get messy. That's plausible like deniability. Yeah. Oh, no. Yep. Well, that's great, because uh, Puyo can only attack me or Terran, and he clearly formed a not-so-secret pact. <laughs> 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 well, you just said you weren't going to go yeah, you through promised. Puyo, which means you're going to oh, have to I'm, go left through me. I'm so not, go not, go not going through you. It's gonna take what? Some Around you, <gasps> it's the ship. Go right over ships. you, Taryn. Yeah, <laughs> it's the ships. Um, I'm okay. Sorry, I'm a little. No, no, no don't fear the ships, Puya. Long have the Baratheons and Starks been friends, man. We could, we can uh, find a way forward here together. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I just have the feeling that historically the Starks have had more honor. Um, I'm scared. Yeah, but they're gonna pay for it. <laughs> oh my god. Can I just like take my boats out to sea and just like live a peaceful yes. life yeah. on the yeah. water? Do just that raid, whole just keep raiding. Thing. Yeah. 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 West, West Rose, you know. I'd love. Is to everyone find else out. done? Is everyone waiting on me? Yeah, but that's okay. Take your time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but. I really... I don't know what to do with these. The well, that's interesting. Enemies. So I got, I got uh, very lucky that I got the Raven for two turns, essentially. <laughs> since we, since there's no, uh, there wasn't any bidding for the in the first turn. Yeah. Oh, so Jesus. Philly and Taryn both have three castles and strongholds at the moment. Um, I, I have three. Sorry. They're um, mostly empty castles. They're re <laughs> really low rent castles. Uh, Mike controls two, and uh, Puya and Kirsten have one. Um, the other thing with your castles and strongholds, there are some that are stronger. So um, the Eerie, for example, is uh, a stronghold that's that's worth six. You can see there's a little six token on it, mm. which means that that gets added to the army score if you're trying to take a castle. Um, mm -hmm. So it's all your units, plus if you have any modifiers on your, your movement, and then if you're trying to take a castle stronghold, like Blackwater Bay <laughs> is worth five, would be a pretty good one. Puyo, but these Puyo, are, but these are also, we should note, these are, like, there are people in the Eerie, right? Like, There's... you have to defeat that army to take it. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, actually, that might be. Uh, that is in the base game, I believe. So you do have to have I think six. You, yeah, do you ha yeah, you have to battle it. Yeah, this, this isn't like, uh, yeah, it's like Civ, right? Um... Where there's, like, an actual occupying town that you have to take over. All right, so everybody's done planning, unveiling. Oh, boy. Oh, no. oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Let me take a look here. 
All right, so yeah. yes, Mike, take a look. See if you want to swamp anything mm. or you want to look at the new Wildling deck. I will say the Wildling threat has moved up to four out of 12, which means we have to collectively submit four power tokens if we have to fight the Wildlings next turn. Okay, let me take a look here. Freaking Wildlings. That's oh, wait, like so it doesn't... I thought it was like a build, like it counts up until 12 and then they attack. No, they could attack at any round. Uh... Yeah. There's like random cards that'll be like the wildlings attack and they'll come storming down with whatever they have. But when okay, it hits then... 12, they come automatically. <laughs> yes, uh, I will right? replace an order token here. So uh, sometimes they attack prematurely yes. without yep. full strength. Oh, yeah. You know those wildlings. <laughs> they love attacking. They don't have the horn <laughs> yet. Sure do. Attack, it's like, attack, come on, there's attack. a big wall in the way. What are you doing? Very one track mind up there. They want mm. everyone to be free like them. I'll show them for you. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll show I'm them. Sorry. <laughs> I'm getting into character curse. That's a very American, American the, perspective. The, the crowns oh or the castles? <laughs> sorry? What matters more, the crowns or the castles? I mean both. Like the crowns, you'll eventually have to bid on tokens and things like that. So kind of kind of both. Uh Philly, where's your raid order? Uh Oh, my bad. I didn't realize. Oh, no, the no, no, Starks. No. Look at what the Starks are doing. I actually don't, don't worry about it. I don't think you could raid anything there, yeah. Nope, there was nothing to raid. That's why I was so unconcerned. I also don't think I can raid anything. Oh, I see a little support. I see a movement and a support token happening. That's interesting. Um, Sparrow asks uh -oh. how the game is going, and I think it's safe to say no one knows. I'm just going to remove mm -hmm. that support. I'm afraid, uh, Sparrow. If that's okay, Taryn. I oh, I don't. I don't like that. Yeah. Well, I was just a little worried about it. You know, Raiders. Oh, Joe, Raiders. Grace. In the East. Well, what do you? What the only thing you could support is a battle in my I was territory. going to support if you came after me. All you right, let's me. take out Grace. Let's take down Grace. That's the new oh, plan. Gosh, Grace. Uh -oh. We all doing? win if Grace loses. Grace I mean, said I... 18 times, "I'm not here to win," and then look at all this maneuvering. So oh, I can't even raid it. anyone. Let's prove it. Yeah, I don't think you can raid anything. Maybe I should have raided you. If you had have used a raid with a star, which I actually don't think you could use because of your position on the raven, you could have removed his defense order. But yeah, uh, so well, now Puya is going to no, you would, you would, you would, you would just probably. But um, Puya, your move. Yeah, I'm figuring it out. Bless him. So it feels like there could be a battle this round. So in the interest of explaining battles, uh, as I said, it's like the point accumulation. But you also get to play a hand. Oh, oh, uh, oh. into Blackwater Ooh, I got Bay for a second there. Oh, Puya, watch out for fire. Fire. <laughs> yeah. Black oh, the wild yeah. variety. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's green. It could be bad. It, it could be bad. Oh, no. oh, I can do this one too. Uh, yeah, I would say. I would say in the few. I, I mean, uh, you only needed to move hmm. one ship. I don't know if you have a. Because I didn't now, know. It, it let yeah, me do sorry. both. Yeah, you should have just moved. I wish you could like redo because now you can't move your your dragonstone people anywhere. You don't have a path to get them anywhere. They've right? been oh, abandoned. Oh, what? Yeah, I'm I'm sorry. I, I yeah. It's okay. I assume you can move your boat back though. Just don't take my land. But not until next land. turn. He he could, but that but there. but what if Grace moves her ship up there Luckily, first? Luckily, I have no move uh, turns, and Puya would move before me. But well, luckily, you're you're you promise you wouldn't. I did. Me. I did. Yeah. Oh no, I don't want to do I that. I wish we could just bake a cake made of rainbows and all get along. I totally do that. Don't do yeah. that. Kirsten, my my niece, we play a game. I, I can't remember what it's called, but you do make cakes. Uh, we could play that next month if you want. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> so Grace, you mentioned there might be a battle. Um, uh -oh. I uh -oh. hope there's no battle because uh -oh. I hope that you accept that Starfall is mine and not yours. Oh, I just, sorry, I just took it. I'm so sorry. Oh. Uh -oh. That's his birthright, Grace. Yeah. No, it's not. Starfall? That's mine. <laughs> so it begins. I came Crush from a door. star. <laughs> oh, man. You can move your knight if you want. You can move it there. Yeah. It would be two to to one. 
at the moment. Dude, I don't Karen, like no the mercy. tone of your voice when you say that, though. It makes me feel like you know something I don't. I don't. I would tell you the whole, it would be if you move your. So I presume you're you're thinking about moving your knights from high guard, or or I guess your either your footmen. You can move them as well. You have a bridge, uh, to Starfall. Um, yeah, you could. I mean, either way, it would be at least two to one. Uh, and then we would play a card from our hand. I could also tell you're higher on the fiefdom track, so if we tied, you would win. Um, I would tell you that as, as well. Uh, that's basically all the information. I don't have it. There's no, no way for me to support that battle. Uh, I think she's trying to bait you, Taryn. Watch not, out. I'm not. I'm just explaining <laughs> all the circumstances. It does uh, feel like you're like I wanted to do it until you started saying you could do this, Taryn, and I, now I'm not <laughs> sure. This is. I, I was saying that uh, this is playing and being the only one who knows the rules is a very dangerous game. In terms of one time, I, <laughs> sure I, I, was, I was playing yeah. oh, explaining yeah, you... the game resistance once, and like immediately we dealt the hands, and I was the bad, and I'm trying to like explain the rules while also trying to deceive everybody. Um, but I promise you, I'm not deceiving you. These are just, I'm just telling you statements of fact, Taryn. Mm. You would, you would, you would probably win. It comes to, then you have, we both would have to make a decision about which card from, and the other thing about your car, your hand is that once you have played a card, it goes into your discard pile and you don't get to bring them back until you've played all of them. Um, so you, it's not like you could just keep playing your like four card. strongest card. Yes, you're gonna have to rotate through them. There are certain cards. I, there's at least one player who has one that's like uh, play this card. You get to bring everything back from your discard pile and things like that. But we're at, we're on total pretty pretty even even playing field here, Taryn. <sighs> I feel Go like ahead. playing this game is like being in an argument with someone who's like, and another thing. <laughs> <laughs> and one more And thing. also this. Yeah, that's a pretty good point. That's pretty good. Yeah. All right, Grace. Yeah, uh, what, 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 is, what is the, if I, if I let you have Starfall. Yeah. What do I get? Um, I just want all my Dornish territory. I want the Bone Way and the Prince's Path. No, not the Bone Way. I won't go. I won't go. the Bone Way. I won't go past there. Where? Well, it's you. You. You leave the. You'll. You. Uh, promise you won't attack me. Uh, I won't attack you. She didn't promise. That was I not. I promise a... I won't attack you. <laughs> where? Where are you going next? Then the Prince's Pass and the Bone Way. Then what? Mm, to be decided. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, just attack me. It's fine. The bone uh, that sounds like where Mega Bloom wants to be. <laughs> That's where I live. Got a summer house in the bone way. <laughs> Hold on, before you Hold do Hold on. Yeah. Uh, uh I just need to warn of a threat. Oh lord. Oh no. In store for <laughs> <laughs> Um All right. Uh, look. Damn. To everyone else. Oh my god. I'm picking a fight with the person who knows the game. All right. I am Ooh. taking one for the team. I feel it. I feel it. I would like Lannister. support from the team. You got it. The Lannisters have your support. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Oh Jared, Lord. who do you want to? Who do you want to take out instead? Have you moved yet? Who do you want? Who yeah, do you want to fight as oh well? Because then I can. Taren I could just help you fight somebody else no. if you want. Taryn, if you start moving boats toward them, I can send my boats to support Taren, you. Taryn, if you take over the south, that's all you. That's the Dorn and you're set. You're good. There it is. Taryn, I just want to be hand of <laughs> I just want to be hand of the king. <laughs> I just wanted I just wanted my yeah, stars to fall. To job, all right. I, 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 I. <laughs> Listen, we know by the end of the season your head will oh, be chopped here off. Here it goes. Right? Oh, here go the boat. All right. The Starfall. So, oh shit! It is, oh. Yeah, it is. Ah. It is two to one. So we're each gonna play, and I'm just gonna explain some things in the in the hand. So some of them have text on them. So um, I have like if you're defending, this card gains a tower. If you're attacking, this card gains a sword. The towers and swords are essentially swords are killing a unit. So eliminating a unit from the board. Because if you just win a fight without swords, or th th your units just retreat. But if you have swords, they will eliminate a unit and a defense a tower is to essentially like block a sword if i think you're going to play a sword Terran, i would maybe want to play a tower to make sure that uh my unit doesn't get killed if that makes sense Ariel hota i love that guy yeah um, 
So we're just gonna pick a card. card. Oh, oh, let's see which God. famous faces show up. I love the art on these cards. It's I know. So yeah, they're all like from very the. Good so art. we're based on the book. Ooh. Uh, oh, if I had it. Yeah. Who the hell is Alistair Florent? <laughs> this is the problem with the Tyrells. Yeah. Exactly. Oh snap! <laughs> Starfall. Uh, Whoa! <laughs> so Taryn wins three to two. Even if I had to play to two, it would have been a tie because Taryn's above me on the thing. So I needed to play a three or above. I didn't think it was worth it. Uh, Taryn didn't use any sword, so my my defense doesn't mean anything. But now I'm going to choose where to retreat. I'll just retreat to Prince's Pass like I wanted. Hey! Hey! <laughs> he wanted Starfall. He got Starfall. Yeah, you get Starfall. I got Prince's Pass. Yeah. I think he might want Prince's Pass next time. I can't it. move anywhere. Yeah, you're stuck because of the ship. Move. So I then what do I do? You just have to skip. Yeah. Bad blows. Yeah, I'm sorry, Puyo. It's okay. Congrats. How do I skip? I think if you click on it and then don't move anywhere or something like that, uh, it should work. Boo. Yeah, rough. That's too bad. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Ooh, to Castle Black, Billy. Listen, the wildlings oh. are coming. Winter is coming, Grace. Ah, uh, such, such an altru here. such an altruist being like, I'll help defend him. I'm just trying wild. to look out for the <laughs> realm. The real, guys. The real like threat me. is, yeah, our Philly up there. Uh, uh, like the Starks are dangerous. All right, let's go get him. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> Mike, at two, at two, Bloom. Well, the Greyjoys have to be the ones to to go after the the Lannisters. It's not the Lannisters, the um, Starks. The Starks. Up there. Yeah. No, we're great. Well, and with Sam. what we're power? With also, what power? I have your son, so yeah. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I have your. Son. You know what? That guy. I heard he. I heard he smells. I feel like we're good. Wait, I don't want to. I don't want this. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, I, I didn't mean to do this. Yeah, I know. Oh my you, gosh. Yeah, you. The ship, back and forth the a ship bunch movement again. has been has been. Uh, I feel. Oh, bad. I want to see it. I want to see it. More. I can't wait. No, I didn't move it at all. Don't worry. All right. My sorry. only options were attacking and attacking. I didn't want to do that. I shouldn't have put. I didn't mean to put that one as a as a march. Anyways. I'm really excited about this movement in the south, though. The creeping vines from there yeah. is a who, lot going on down yeah, there. Taryn, who knew that the the central uh, conflict of the Game of Thrones books would be about the Tyrells versus the Martell? The Martell oh, yeah. Tyrells. <laughs> well, it's because everyone keeps mixing them up. That I think it's it was true. only natural. The song of sand and roses. Yeah, it's true. What are you gonna do? Are you thinking about moving from Old Town, Taryn? I see. Uh, yeah, I'll take. I'm taking your advice about the wine. Oh, that's it's so fun. It's great. Yeah, mm -hmm. put a footman there. Just keep consolidating power. Make wine. It's great. Make that good wine. And there's a there's a barrel in three towers as well where you can move. Um, and currently, High Garden. Did you leave a power token in in High Garden to? Um... How do you do that? Uh, when you moved, it should have asked if you wanted to keep a power token. It didn't ask me. You you still own it because I think you have four one. Two, three, four. Yeah, you, you still own it. WTF. Because you, you control four four castles. Yeah. I mean, Taryn's winning, by the way, just so we all know. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, oh it was easy for Grace to say. I beat her in one battle. Now I'm yeah. winning. Listen, what did I say at the start of this game? I said I'd rather be with him than against him. I hope he does. I hope he does win. Because <laughs> I'm sure not winning. Don't say that. <laughs> Come on. Let's I have one castle. I am last. Let me yeah, be Yeah, but last. you do have, uh, you just have Dragonstone. You don't even have King's Landing. You're the king. You should have King's Landing. We're getting there. It's a work in progress. Oh, uh, uh, Mike. Oh. I know. Moving up into the Sea Road marches. I okay. have no, I have no plots to attack Lannisport. I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, I didn't sound super <laughs> honest, Taryn. It was no, he's honest. honest. He's honest. You think I'm gonna? You think I'm gonna pick another fight while I'm busy dealing no, with the only not, person who knows how to play this game? You're too smart <laughs> to, to pick a. Oh, the West right. two friends. Round three. So we're gonna adjust the supply track. So it's, it might affect your armies if you're if you're lowering. I, I don't think anybody should be lowering their supply, um, but some people might get to increase it. Then we're gonna bid on the tracks, and then 
raid orders won't be able to be played. Oh, baby. Here we go. Okay. I, I wonder who's yeah. going to have the track with 14. <laughs> 14 <laughs> so, so there's. Okay. So here uh, we are we go. doing so, just the Iron Throne? No, or are no, we doing... no. So all three. Okay. So we're going to first we're bidding on the Iron Throne track. So you're secretly oh. going to bid how many power tokens you want. And any uh, number you put, any number you lose, you lose, you lose them. Yes, um, you can bid zero as well. Um, and then the thing is, so in this round, uh, Puya, you will break the tie. If there's any tie for this track, you will break Ooh. the tie. But if you then lose the Iron Throne, then for a subsequent um, bidding, someone else will have someone the tiebreaker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like I need okay. So again, just to, to reiterate, Oof. the Iron Throne is uh, the order in which you play, as well as breaking non-combat ties. So as you like in this example, uh, Puya would break if we if like two people bid zero, <laughs> Puya is going to get to place them. Um, so if we bid everything on this one, we would then you'll have no not have any to nothing bid for the for others. It. Okay. Uh, the fiefdom one is uh, breaks ties in combat, as well as once per uh, turn, you can use the sword to add one point to any combat, including somebody else's. And then, the, and then the Raven track is um, how many star tokens you can play, as well as you get to decide to swap a token or look at the wildlings. So. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Well. Ooh, Puya's breaking tie. Wait, who's tie. breaking the tie? Puya? Yeah, Puya. Yes. Break it for me or Terra and choose Puya. between your alliance mates. I, I will help you with, with Dorn. And I will if. Oh yeah, Puya, who if, are you putting on the? So let me just. If you break this, this tie for me, I will break future ties for you. So let me the just King explain Maker. this. So Puya Ooh. is breaking the tie between Mike and Taryn to put on the Iron Throne. Um, yeah, and then I will be third place. Everybody, and then Puya is also going to break the tie between. Well, I'm himself, breaking that one in my favor. Yes, <laughs> himself, and then and then whether Kirsten or Taryn, uh, or sorry, Philly are, are last on the Iron Throne. Gotcha. Track. Yeah. All right, if well, Mike gets this one, he's just going to wreck the rest of them. I have no designs on the throne. I'm no threat up here. I'm the drag house. I, listen, time. same here. I'm fine putting Terran on the throne. Ooh. Interesting strategy. I'm, uh, I'm not fine with putting Terran on the throne. <laughs> 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 I know I don't really have the Do you have talents. preferences or you're fine either way? I break it. Poor Great joys and the Starks. I mean, I I feel like being second to last is nice, but also if you want to put me last, I understand. I'm putting myself last in the game. Not so. the worst one to be last on the track for. Billy, okay with the with this? You okay with being fifth? Or you want six? You don't care. I don't care. Yeah, you're good. All right. I'm not gonna look. Actually, that's stupid. I can't like I have to drag them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. We'll leave it as we'll leave it as as. Ah! Ah! No. <laughs> okay. If, Sorry. if you help me, I can help take out Grace. I've stay taken less, that for the wow. team. Okay. Okay, now we're bidding on the fiefdom track. And so wait, what does this one do? So it breaks ties in combat as well. So uh, like if Taryn and I had a tie, Taryn was higher than me. And then also if you're number one, you can add plus one to any battle in a round uh, one time. And then who breaks ties here? Terran now moving forward? Ter Terran. Terran, yeah, Terran yep. break all ties. Okay. You're out of power. The king. King Tyrell. <laughs> oh, man. Well, they've got briefly with Marjorie, right? Like, pretty much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Follow your heart. Someone in the chat tell me how much to bid, and I'll just do whatever you say. How many do you have? Six. I, I, the last one is my, is my favorite. I, you know, I think it's being limited in how many star, uh, actions you can take, I think is the biggest, one of the biggest disadvantages you can have in this game. So I am, I'll just tell you, I'm saving my tokens for the last, uh, Liv, I don't right. have 55. I have six. <laughs> 55? Where did that number come from? I'm just going to assume she meant five and five. Yeah. go from there. I wish I had 55. Okay, Kirsten goes for the fiefdom. Uh, okay. Then Puya, then... Yeah, I uh, nearly went two. Then Mike, and then... Uh, yes, then Taryn, Philly, and myself. Oh, he's a break the tie. Yeah, I assume that's about how you want it. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, congrats, Philly. 
I'll take it. Thank you, sir. So the the other piece here is that again you're gonna lose whatever you bid. So uh, if you move, if you need a power token this round, for example, I'm gonna have any. If we have to fight the wildlings next round, you know, so I just yeah, um, you can bid all your tokens. I I may. Is there any point to being anything but first in in the non thrones ones? Because I know the the iron throne one is the order so as well. So breaking ties in combat for the second one. And then in seeing the yes. third one, do you see how there's like stars? Stars, so yeah. So if you're first, you can use three star actions. If you're uh, second, you can do it as well. Third and fourth can uh, do two and one. If you're last, fifth or sixth, you can't use any star actions. You can't use your movement plus one. You can't use gotcha. your raid with a star. Um, yeah. So that's the... That's why I what, just think it's incredibly limiting. But, yeah. Does this, um, does this uh, bid sequence happened through the card draw we got in the westeros phase oh wow um what do you mean listen there were six left i wanted to i saw Puya had six i wanted to guarantee i had first place damn i thought one Charity would maybe get me fourth <laughs> lannister's standing on. big man mm -hmm. gotta spend money to make money they got money well, and they always should do. have used it should have been three one did like rich rich I'm, I'm 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 helping you again uh, I'll see you Monday, Taryn. Uh, book club bros, man. There's you have no nothing to fear <laughs> from me down you, there. I will also see you Monday. I'm garden. also in the book club. <laughs> 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 okay, no raid orders this year. No raid oh, orders. Okay. what does the raid do again? That's good because I don't understand what that does. That's so, that's the one where you like actually attack, right? No, no. The raid is you can so uh, you can you remove an adjacent token. So if somebody put a consolidate power, you actually take away. You could take away that consolidate power, and actually you get oh, a power right, token right. yourself. Um, yeah. So you could I'll shut down seems, like support like the, from yeah, other. Yeah, it seems like the most like assholey thing to do. That's why it was my first move, Mike. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> it's kind of like the last thing you have available to you, right? So. All right, planning. Go. Listen, so real quick, so now do I have to move my ships out to then move so the should, knights you should, in? You're gonna want to put a movement token on your ship, so you can move one ship out into Shipbreaker Bay. Uh, and that's all. I just need one moved, and then I'm fine. And then you're good. Yeah. Cool. Landing phase. Okay. Where do I want to go here? I think I did this right. We'll see. I have no idea if I did anything right or wrong, but it also ultimately doesn't matter. Okay. If anyone's like really good at this game, they could feel free to slide into my DMs. I played last night and got wrecked by the computer about five times in a row. So um, <laughs> I feel well prepared for this. I couldn't even finish the tutorial because I was confused. And like, I'm not a stupid person. I, I feel like you got the worst luck with your, it's like the ships are just different. So like, a thing you could do is, well, so you can put a ship into a port again, but like, I don't, I don't, let's see. I don't really know how useful that is. Yeah. Right now. Okay. There we go. Sunset C is pretty free for you, Kirsten. If you play a consolidate power with a star on it in a castle or stronghold, instead of collecting power tokens, you can also muster. Um, the only other uh, the only other time you can muster is if it, the card comes up at the beginning of the round. So just a good thing to note as well. If you feel like you just like don't have a lot of uh, armies or, or you have a free thing to do, um, it's not a bad idea.
Karen, how are we going to end this like conflict that we have? Like, what, what do you? What do you what well, do you uh, what's what's your it what's your plan? This round? Are you are you attacking me no, this I'm, round? I'm not attacking you. I basically just have complete defense tokens. I've used all my defense tokens and all my support tokens. So Grace, there's only one way this ends. Karen's going to be for you and your people. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's what fire. happens with the Corrals. Yeah, it's fire and blood, Grace. Yeah. Yep. All right. Let's let's see if I can trust you. Oh, I love when Karen right. plays mind games. Let's take a look at what all these people are doing. Oh my okay, gosh, there's so it's many power a... tokens on the board. Because <laughs> there's no rating. Okay. There's no rating. Yeah. Interesting. All right, let me take a look down here. Uh, Terran buddy, what what you doing around the Sea Road marshes? Where are you planning to go? I'm planning to move uh, down to the Reach. Gotcha. Okay, so you're planning to move your guy back south. Yes, I'm not attacking you, I promise. <laughs> All right. Well, then I am going to. Mm -hmm. so Kirsten, where are you? Where are you planning to go? Uh oh. Uh, I see your uh, little sea guard guy. My little sea guard guy. I was I was hoping to go to the twins. Okay. Cool. Just making sure. Just making sure. Uh, all right, I think it's gonna go... be a while before my turn. I'm. I'll be right back. Yep. All right. Let me look at the top of the wildling deck. Let's see what happens. What's it say? Huh. Interesting. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Wow. Okay. All wow. right. Well, I'm going to keep that on the top. Ooh. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, Taryn. It's, it's immediately <laughs> Taryn. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it's perfect. I love it. I love that. I'm, you know yeah, he didn't realize whole... he didn't realize that he was at the top of the, like previous rounds. He has yeah, there was a the that whole thing about yeah. like yeah. Taryn is gonna be sitting on the throne. He's like, I yeah. think it's a while until my <laughs> totally turn. forgot well, about that. Yeah, he's yeah. on the throne. Yeah, like he gets to make he can decisions. He can do whatever he wants. He, he can hold up the choose. rest of the game. I'm at the wait. I'm at the bottom of this, so I actually will be right. <laughs> to to be fair, if Taryn just uh, filibusters for the next two hours, he wins because yeah, exactly. he has the most games. He wins. Oh my god. All right, in that in that case, <laughs> let me be right back. <laughs> um, okay, so you are defending. I am defending, uh, Taryn. I I don't I don't want to attack. I don't really want to attack Puya either. But, but thank you. But no, 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 but no, but. <laughs> Wait, what? I have nothing. I have nothing. I have one castle. Let me keep it. I know. And let me keep my bay. Let me keep my area. Can I grant Love you passage bay. through? Not really, no. All right, well, then you stay put. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the problem with, with, uh, at the but like, I would obviously help you attack somebody else, but the only person I can help you attack is Puya, Taren, and, and vice versa. Puya, the only person I could really help you attack is Taryn. And if you two have an alliance, then. It's not really so much here's I can something. Do. Can you pass through an enemy's territory and not attack them? Nope, you cannot. Okay, so that's the issue, right? It's like yep. even if you declare an alliance, right? If it's like, hey, work with me, we're gonna go pass through together. Like, no, if they're to the north of you and they want to go south, they have to attack you. That's right. Like, yeah. there's not really a way for, f I guess you know, if like uh, we took over, sh like I was just saying, if there's not really a way for Philly and I to super work to get, like, actually, Chris right. and I probably have the best example. Of, like, we're so far away from each other. Um, yeah. Man, if only the world was round. Uh, like, you'd be able to connect the globe. <laughs> it's one of Martin's great in innovations is the peninsula-shaped world. Yeah. The flat wor the flat earth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. I always love that the Westeros kind of looks like an old lady on the, on the map. Uh, it's got big Florida energy, yeah. And the people act like they're from Florida. Mm -hmm. Oh man. <laughs> it's okay. All right, Taryn is uh. Yeah, oh boy, look at those ships. Moving the ship. Ship it. Ooh, Mike built a siege engine. I, I didn't oh, know no. that before, but he has a siege engine as Lannisport. That's what uh, I did when I when so... I uh when we mustered on the first turn. So, I built a siege engine again, just to re a siege engine when you're attacking a castle strong uh, stronghold are worth four, but they are worth zero in defense, and I believe they automatically get killed in battle as well if you lose. 
Interesting. But I, okay. but I, 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 that might be wrong. I see one sitting in Pike too. I see all these. Siege oh, engines. there is a siege engine in Pike. Well, that was nobody's business but my own. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Grace directed my attention down there, neighbor. Don't worry. No, I, said just, it out. I just said Philly and I couldn't really work together. And then here we are, mm -hmm. pointing at all just the siege engines. Just a peaceful observation. Mm -hmm. uh, send it to the south, Greyjoy. There seems to be an imminent threat. Listen, don't stuff. worry. I'm not. Con I'm not concerned. About I, I'm. I'd like to work with you. I okay. think that when the Greyjoys get too worried about the Starks, that is where bad mm. things happen. It's where okay? it all and goes I south. Yeah, if we could just like uh, get our shit right, then we could be okay here. Yeah, I'm with you, Kristen. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's where it all goes south is when the North doesn't work together. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and I want you... You're gonna stay put, little buddy. Okay. And then I can go over... Oh. Michael's oh. Hall, which as we all know is a cursed location. As of as of late, yeah, but mm. as of forever, as of for as of literally forever. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I select this. Yeah, I was gonna say no House of go. the Dragon, but we are going back in time to Game of Thrones and also into the future because Game of Thrones. Yeah. Mm. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, oh, so I did. Uh, Liv is saying that uh, Taryn, if you could get Taryn Hall. Mike, <laughs> Mike, what are you doing? I'm moving. I want to move up north. Okay. Hey. Cool. Yeah, the tricky uh, Puyo because he he has like the river is impassable, so you either right. have to go up to Seaguard or down to Cracklaw Point to move over. Yeah. Yeah. But he is infringing, you know. Yeah, Puyo, you've really been pushed in here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Between kind of Storm's End and Cracklaw. <laughs> Not <laughs> great. Not great. We're all in trouble. Don't worry. Yeah. So. Yeah, you just um, make sure if you're going to move your ship, just move one ship. I, th I th and if that's what you, I mean, you could move them back, but again, then you don't have sort of the bridge to King's Landing if that's what you're trying to do. No, no. Oh no. Uh -oh. Oh, Wait, no. I can exit, right? I can exit. You should Hold be on. able to before you. Yeah, don't, you don't final. confirm your move. I think is what. You're yeah, doing. there we go. Yeah, <laughs> I accidentally uh, moved my siege engine into one unit, one square, and then back into another square because I didn't know what I was doing. But yeah, you have very good, like, uh, scared reaction. Have you played, like, a horror? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Did exactly what I did. Welcome Excellent. to the club. I love the, I love the back and forth. Oh, interesting. Oh. Right. Okay, well, I don't think you'll affect. Oh, no, I guess I do see I, Elbridge coming in from the north. I love that it's, it's a don't worry about me, It's so Mike. funny. Don't worry about me, Mike. It's a whole notification. Like, it's so funny. <laughs> they really blow it right. Right up. It really does. Ooh, the twins. The secret alarm. Oh my god. When you said north, uh, Mike. What did you mean? You want the Erie? What do you want? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm heading towards the Erie. Okay. My ultimate goal is to take down Philly. <laughs> wow. Mike really has like a good there. path there to just like. Yeah. Come there. In. And I'm in just gonna get squished in the middle the the, the problem the the one thing i'm trying is, to go around you that's the thing the thing is as mike was saying before the eerie has a strength of six so you do have to have a force of six without cards or anything like that you have to have a, a like you almost oh, need without your siege cards. unit without cards <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah taryn where's your march order right now oh blackwater Go back, hey. Oh, my little friend. <laughs> Did you leave? Okay. Are you leaving a power token? I left one in Heron Hall. My, there uh, we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave a guy behind, but I left one in Heron Hall before when I moved my guy into Crack Claw. Right. And those are the, the flags, right? The flag yes. sigil indicates the power token. Yes, area controlled with a crown power token. Ooh, a fight! A fight. Oh, baby. Oh. No, oh. Cracklaw! No, our, our pack! <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Stay out of my lane! Okay, okay let me just uh, set the stage here. It's 2-2. Two, two. Uh, it's a knight against knight. 
Uh, you're each gonna pick a card from your from your hand. Uh, let me just look. Uh, Puya is would would win in a tie. Uh, Kirsten could also use her sword at some point, but but we shall see. Uh, and again, there's uh, either descriptions on your cards, uh, and then there's also the swords and the towers. Again, swords would mean that you would d uh, kill a unit, and a, a tower means you would save a unit from a from a sword. If that makes sense. I love board games because they make you say things that you never oh, thought you'd say. Like said it. Oh yeah. Whoa, Stannis. Wow, big card from Puya. Uh, so uh, now, uh, Mike, you're gonna choose where your um, unit will retreat to, which you could also. B -b -b back that well, ass that's... up. No, Mike. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move yeah. on. Yeah, you can move that's on. All, that's all. That's like I was, so... I was actually gonna say, Puya, like I was fine with you taking it back, so I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> that's yeah. fine. Honestly, I wanted to move there. I needed to move there to then move down, so that works for me. I didn't mean so... to fight you, but I, that's the only place I could move forward. You know. No, I, I, so... I feel it. The only okay, other thing I'm going to note here is that uh, you can see that Mike's unit, his horse, has a white flag. It means that his unit cannot um, participate in combat again this round. Um, so if somebody was to attack the Mountains of the Moon, which I don't... It, well, it could happen. Uh, that unit is useless. It's worth zero. Oh, you, you, you don't say. Okay. Yeah, I do. Uh, <laughs> oh! <laughs> interesting! <laughs> you don't say. I, I am hold on, because... Oh, yes, yeah. Because there is a move. I was going to say, yeah, there's no move, but there is a move. Um, I think there's a move. Yeah. There's a move. Yeah. Through the narrow and sea. And I believe that that unit, mm, I'm not sure or not whether it gets killed or not. Uh, let me see if I can find that rule. I wasn't concerned with the comings and goings of Lannisters until I heard that. <laughs> I'm good. We're going north, north, I heard. A little alarm. Oh, yeah. oh, another one. A surprise <laughs> attack. Yes. Oh. yes. The pirates <laughs> emerge. Oh, and that siege engine is worth worth zero. So, uh, yeah, Kirsten currently has five. Mike oh has God, three. Kirsten is ahead. Wait, it's worth zero? Why is it worth zero? The siege unit is worth nothing in defense. It says to... But isn't she... Um, only she she attacking attacking sorry, sorry, it is yeah. Kirsten's siege unit. I'm very sorry. Yes. Ooh, lots of support. Oh! Ooh, this is going to be tight. Oh, my so was, word. Let me just break down. This was a 6-5 uh, based on uh, supports and all that thing. Kirsten is one point above. Kirsten is ahead of Mike on the uh, fiefdom track, so would win a tie. And Kirsten could also, after Mike plays a card, uh, Kirsten could play the plus one because she has the, she has the, uh, the Battle the of Valerian, River Run. The, the Valerian <laughs> sword. Um, so, yeah. So it's a tie. So it is a tie and Kirsten Which wins breaks in Kirsten's in favor? favor? Correct. Oh. Oh, oh I don't think you had Wait, to What was that? Was that the tie? I don't think you... Yeah. Oh, that was that the tie? Okay. Um, oh, Sir Gregor Clegane. Mike, are you are you able to ret um, move both your units? I guess I can, yeah. Uh, Mike goes you? over to that. <laughs> Retreating to Heron Hall is never, oh, never sorry. what. Keep you want. <laughs> okay, Amazing. wow, big move. Wow, big, big, big turn. Sorry, Man, I really thought, I really thought, I really thought Mike was gonna win. <laughs> I have the sword, bitches. This is like I'm a Taryn. This is a game uh, of Big Brother. When you come out, you come out ahead. You come out too mm. strong. I'm sorry, but I'm not that sorry. Oh my uh, god. Oh. I was deeply unconcerned. I was deeply when unconcerned. It rains, it Mike. pours. Mike! The oh, rains wait, no, are actually wrong. Yeah, they, it comes out of the cards, I guess. It is the, still the cards. Wait, does Kirsten still get to use her sword in someone's favor here? Kirsten, you didn't use the sword last round. That was the tiebreaker, right? Is that what happened? Or did um, you use your sword? Mm, I supported myself. I okay. think I used so it's uh, in future rounds, like if you if you're you you would have won a tie, so you didn't need to use your sword. So you can't use the sword again this round. But oh yeah, I'll I'll throw this. Out. Could she have used I'll it? Just, uh, just, uh... If I hadn't yeah. used it, I could have used it. Here. Cersei Lannister. <laughs> okay, so uh, Philly wins. Uh, Mike, uh, if you won this combat, you did not win this combat, so nothing happens. He did. Oh, his guy and died. Your guy died. Yeah. Sorry. Wow. Nice. Not sorry. Everyone kill Philly. He's going to win. Okay, so... <laughs> Just stay south of the neck. We've got no problem. So, Taryn, here, you can either Lannisters. take the power tokens or you can muster in the reach because you used a consolidate power with a star. I wish I could actually show you how weird my cat is sitting in my lap right now. He's got, like, one arm over hmm. my arm. 
leaning into my shoulder, other arm below, but it's like straight out, standing on my leg. He's being weird. He's being weird, everyone. Well, I can hear the purring. I know. Yeah, he's purring really loud. Yeah. All right, back in the Westeros phase. All right, so you can we get to muster. Then we are bidding on the tracks again, and then the wildlings are attacked, which is very kind Ooh. of bad uh, because uh, we're going to bid and spend all our power tokens, and then we need six tokens to beat the wildlings. And, Mike, you know what happens if we win or lose. So, all right, right let's indeed. recruit. Huh, well, maybe I shouldn't have been attacked by three people in the last <laughs> <laughs> would have been a Remember, little bit my attack was my fun. Legs. We were good. Our attack was peaceful. Hey, Mike, if you want to shoot me over what happens, uh, I did stick to my word. Oh, interesting. Uh, what do I do here? Oh, <laughs> I had nowhere else to go. Okay, well, listen. You had options. I d really didn't. It was the oh, only listen, place I, that lit up. I, to be honest, I wish we could tell everyone but Rich, but there's not a way for us to do that from a private capacity. Well, you could just Rich, text me. Rich, could you cover me. your ears? <laughs> Just, just text sure. me. Yeah, I'm not listening. If you cover, cover your headphone <laughs> yeah. ears. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> You're all good. <laughs> I don't have that much going on up here. It's a lot of empty country. You know? It's very Nothing cold. About. Yeah, I'm freezing. I don't know. I'm just seeing three castles and six tokens, and that's what I'm concentrating on. Kirsten, you have zero power tokens? Yeah, I'm poor. Oh, no. We're about to bid on the tracks and the wildlife. are going to attack. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a threat. Like, I, I don't know why anyone would ever be concerned about me. Well, you know what? I was literally about to ask what happens if we lose to the wildlings, and I remembered Mike. So, if we, so here's the wildlings. So, if we, if we all, if we win, whoever bid the most tokens, and again, if there's a tide that gets broken by Terran, uh, something good happens to you. If we all lose, if we lose, something bad happens to all of us, and something worse happens to the person who bid the least amount of tokens, which again oh. is broken. The tie is it's broken Kirsten. by Kirsten's at zero. She can't bid on anything. Uh, yeah, yeah, but some other somebody else could bid zero, and then Taryn would break oh. the tie between those two. People. So at least bid one is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Perhaps. And well, so maybe it is beneficial for Mike to tell us what happens to give us incentive to make sure we beat the wildlings if it's bad right i will i will say it's a uh, fairly bad for the person who bids the least amount on both ends whether we win or lose Oof. whether we win <laughs> mm -hmm. if we win as well it is bad for the person who bids the least great uh oh kirsten i don't listen i'm just here for the vibes yeah We're here <laughs> it turns out the vibes, vibes are bad <laughs> the vibes are wild and... that's what i'm here for <laughs> Yeah, I do wish the chat had a like. I wish there was a private message chat option. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, thought there was. Very I, was I thought there, there would I be. thought there was as well. So. I was lied to several times. M moment of the game is, Pui asked me the secret <laughs> path. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty huge. It's pretty huge. Um, what are the? You know how like when you're looking a muster, it has like something out of something like the um, numbers. What are those numbers? Uh, I think it's the amount of troops you can do or like the amount that you can have out there at any point in time maybe so in the bottom some of them left, have two and some of them have one so in the no, bottom those i know but then next oh. to the figures it's like you know like it's like a, yeah four, four out, out of, of ten or whatever yeah what is that four out of ten i think i think that I might be the amount that you could have out on the field at any point in time so I would imagine. oh oh uh, yeah yeah it's uh like with the supplies do you know yes mm -hmm. no it, no no it's um like you only have so many footmen that you could have on your on the board Right, so you probably have. Oh. How, like, is it is it a case that you have four of something on the board? You have four footmen. So, like, or I'll something? tell you this. So, my footman, if I mu it says eight out of ten, I don't know what that means. Uh, so you you have, probably you have, have eight, eight out of ten left because you only have two footmen on the board. Oh, um, that makes sense. That yeah, that sure. makes perfect sense. How many? Yes, you have there we left. go. Yeah. Basically, if you have too many footmen, they start having existential crises about <laughs> yeah. not being unique enough, and they don't fight well. Okay, let's see. It's pretty key to take that extra, you get the extra muster point out of this round. Booyah. From taking crack claw points. I 
Shouldn't I get something for having River Run now? You will get to muster. I believe you're after Puya. You'll get to muster in any any castle or stronghold you own. So you'll oh, get yeah, River Run and Sea Guard and Pike, Kirsten. Down at the bottom of the initiative here. Um, the one thing, Kirsten, to um, the the reason a port can be good and putting a ship in the port is if you're going to be over your army limit, having one single ship in a port. Um, doesn't ca that's like a single army and you're, you, mm, can, you can mm -hmm, have that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah yeah I think Mike has a ship in a port right now I do in the golden in the golden sound slash Lannis port yeah in the Lannis port in the Lannis port yeah oh yeah in the Lannis port Yeah, initially I was like, why? Ten turns seems very little. Now I'm like, oh, no, I see why. <laughs> Ten oh, turns yeah. is a lot. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Lots of horses. Footman. So the cards that we played in battle, do we then get new cards given, or we just have whatever's left in you our have pile? Whatever left, as soon as you've played all of them, you can they all return back into your hand. Uh, there are some cards that, like, there's one. You know how, like, there was the Cersei one that said, you know, if you win or whatever. There's one that's like, mm -hmm. if you lose, you can return all the cards to your hand. Oh, cool. But only one person has that. All right, we are bidding. Oh, one. Cursed has no tokens left. I just yeah. realized that. Yeah, we know. We already just talked about this. <laughs> just need a reminder for the chat. Yeah, they know. Listen, Mike's Mike got attacked three times. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm licking my wounds. Yeah, this, this is why time. Mike gets attacked. <laughs> like this is what. Are you saying I deserve time. it? I didn't say you deserve it. I'm just saying I understand why people make that decision. Mike, I very much appreciate you taking the heat off me. <laughs> Is it um the the whole Trump. like the person who bids the least? Is it so, like three people who bid the least on all three, or just overall usage of uh cr like currency? So this is different than the wildlings. Um, so with the the wildlings, we're all going to like like this. We're all gonna rant like a secretly. Put how many oh, tokens we're to contributing. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. So cool. and and okay. you can again, we're bidding first, so we're losing a bunch of tokens here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and now... Just remember, it's really wow, important. Wow, four-way tie. All right. Um, Taryn, hmm. can you reward me for being poor, please? <laughs> yep. Oh poor. wait, if that's the case, then like, uh, we'll reward me from an also a sympathetic perspective. No, but don't be. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Mike, the La life. the Lannisters are a concern for all of us, Taryn. That's Who's all. Who's more have. of a oh, concern, my, the Starks or the Lannisters? I'll go last, Taryn. I mean, I've been attacked three times. Make Philly be last. I'm a patient man. I can I go last. I think we can yeah. trust Philly more than we can trust Mike. Genghis that's all Khan I have to say about that. <laughs> I just think we can trust Billy more. I'll take it. No, absolutely <laughs> not. You, what did he just do on the mountains of the moon? Yeah, that was only to you. I fought my openly uh, proclaimed Kristen, are enemies. You, are you seeing where you are right now at the <laughs> twins? Can you see what he's able to do right now? He's Fear gonna not. leave me alone. Wow, yeah, Taren we're did still uh, push, famous last words. Did and then they came above, for me, right? Above. Oh my God! Well, hopefully they are not done coming for you before the time our time limit ends and the game's over. <laughs> What if we all spend our money and then we have zero to face we will, the wild? We will lose. We'll just all something, agree. Something bad happens to all of us. So let something... the Night King take over. <laughs> it's a Game better over. future. I'm on board. Let's do it. I'm fine because then Philly's territories die first. So. <laughs> yes. Yes. What if the I'm Night King, he's like... just like, I really want to hang out in Sunspare. It's so, it's so cold up here. <laughs> he wants some of that Arbor wine, probably. Mm-hmm. So when we started, we were I was able to pick how long we all had to plan, um, and I just kept to the default, which is two days. <laughs> two <laughs> which, days. Which seems is that like two excellent. actual days? I guess mm. so. It seems a little excessive, you know. Maybe you should have tightened that one up a little. <laughs> Fifteen seconds. No, the way, it, yeah, different. When we played 
Catan last month, it was like you, everybody had an individual. No, we didn't set a clock time. We removed it. We removed, removed the limit, it. the time all together. But that was this, a mistake. In this one, it's like, what's everybody's cumulative time? But I don't really, yeah. I don't. I, I, I didn't really know what to set it at, which is why I did not set it. Uh, Taryn's going to break everybody's time. <laughs> no, so... Taryn, can uh, I be rewarded for being poor again? <laughs> so Puya yep. is okay, on the top. Of welfare the... only extends so far. Oh my god! <laughs> so Puya's at the top. Uh, then uh, Taryn's going to break the tie between himself and Mike, which I presume we know what he'll do. I wonder how that's going to go. And then yeah. break a tie between myself, Kirsten, and and, uh, and Philly. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay. Listen, if everybody. Who has the most to As long as we all have one and then someone comps for Kirsten, we will beat the Wildlings. Mm-hmm. Will you comp for me, Gray Grace? Well, I would really like to spend <laughs> I well. I will I will comp for Kirsten. I don't think she deserves it, but I will. Oh my god. How many how many do we need to beat the Wildlings? Six. Six power tokens collectively. So if we all contribute one and somebody somebody does it for Kirsten. Mike did say, "Still, whoever bids the least, if we win, yes. we'll have a bad fate." Yes. Fate. So you so. might want to make sure you keep one. Yeah. See, Mike already knows I'm gonna have a bad fate, and he's still trying to have things taken away from me in the tie breaks. He's just really playing the part. It's mm -hmm. kind of full circle. Classic Lannister. <laughs> oh God, where are my relatives? Probably together. Ooh. Uh, all right, Taryn's going to break the tie between. Taryn, can I have fifth place, please? And Mike again? Yeah. 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 yeah, fair enough. I've been what's the, what's the difference? What's the time. difference between fifth and sixth here? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Aesthetic. Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> it's just my favorite number. All right. We are oh, fighting man. the wildlings. I wish I could bid. We. Is it, is it possible? <laughs> we. We? <laughs> oh, my God. It is possible to win because somebody needs to put in two. Everybody else can put in one. I only have one. Mike, It'd be what's... very funny if we lose by one. <laughs> it will. Somebody has to put in we're two We're definitely for me. not making I'm almost it. almost <laughs> begging that we're losing by one. Yeah. I think everyone <laughs> should just put in everything hold on, hold they on. have. Well, just to uh, be safe. I mean, something bad happens to all of us if we don't win. So, it, and it, it's probably, Mike, is it, it's, is it probably worse if, we lose then if we even it is actually everyone bid zero let's see? let's roll together let's see what happens <laughs> bid zero late. all of you no no do it let's see what happens <laughs> it's like no no <laughs> the man with the side side king's landing says, i i loved so. it in the game of thrones book when they were like let's see what happens if they attack it if we lose let's let them let's let the i mean that was kind of cersei though in season seven right it was like oh there's yeah. a zombie ah, sometimes they get off whatever land. sometimes they get offered land you can take this All right. Does does everyone want to own up? One. I bid one. I, I bid one. one. I bid one. <gasps> Sounds like Taryn. So oh, we're so oh, we lost. <laughs> we're so Mike, you said you cover for me. Taryn, if you bid zero, then you'll get to break the tie. Uh, I believe. <laughs> I believe that's correct. <laughs> yeah. Breaking oh. those rules. Destroys three Breaking units. Everyone, everyone else has destroyed oh. two units. So. I told you. <sighs> Yeah, Taryn's breaking the tie. So, Chris, you're going to destroy three of your units, and everyone else is going to have to destroy two of their units. Well, I don't care for this. <laughs> I'd I be too. I would have been pissed. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing about the interface so far, I'm not loving. I mean, I guess it's like strategically this makes sense, but it's making us. Well, the Waddlings still keep, and they don't lose. Do they lose their strength, or yeah, they, they don't because we didn't defeat them? Oh, I believe they go back down to zero. I believe. That's six okay. right now. Uh, I think that will reset at the end of the turn. Oh, the bye turn. ship. Wow. Yeah, the boats are going bye bye. Oh, All the boats? no. No, just two of them. Oh, okay. I kept one. Phew. I kept a boat. Don't worry. I listened. I know I need one boat. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just mustered two, I guess. Uh, bye bye to the <laughs> mustard. Yeah, the mustard are always the first to go. Yeah. <laughs> what's the what's okay. that mustard? <laughs> Forget the mustard. Lead in your room with the mm -hmm. lead pipe. It's karate time. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Let's 
decision is decision this time. Hmm. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Grace, we're still good, right? Yes, we're good. I didn't sound good. It's <laughs> a lot of trust. Yeah. yeah. I've listened to so many podcasts about being like, every time someone uh, offers you an alliance, you have to say yes. <laughs> That's exactly what your answer sounded like. It sounded like I yeah. have to say this. Oh my yeah, God. I remember Puya no. did attack me. He's able to break oh. promises. Here, here's, here's my issue, Puya. I don't feel like I have a great path to to get anywhere you said you don't want to win just vibe just vibe <laughs> just, just vibe chill. just vibe i'm not yeah. ready to make a move yet so you know uh, you're just hosting our afternoon of world conquest here grace mm -hmm. it's okay right. mm -hmm. a fictional world grace sent a gif on twitter today saying that we're gonna have fun but it was more <laughs> menacing than anything else. <laughs> <laughs> just for the record this is i i said this i think to philly one day this this game i love this game so much but i feel like asking you all to play it is kind of like when you ask your friend to watch a movie and as they're yeah. watching it they don't you can tell they're not really liking it as oh, much that's as you the worst it up. feeling in the world <laughs> <laughs> i hope we're having uh, more fun than that but yeah. Grace, you ready? Last I'm just here for out. vibes. Oh, I'm having shit. a great time. Oh, yeah, I'm having an excellent time. Uh, I had a friend sit down last week and start watching Dune with me, Grace. So about yeah. like 45 minutes in, we started uh, talking about problems <laughs> with his in-laws. And I was like, oh, you don't this like is a the full movie. You don't like yeah, this movie. is, I've made a terrible mistake. Uh, All right, planning. That's hilarious. All right, yeah, planning time. Oh, boy. What does raid do again? I don't okay, want to so use it. I just so want to know actually, what it does. If you hover over any of the it will tell you what it does. So you can remove Yeah, but I read it and I still didn't get it. So a regular one will remove an adjacent enemy support consolidate power or raid. And just so you know, removing a consolidate power will give you a token. And then the one with the star, you could also remove a defense token. Gotcha. This is fun. Who has the raven? Now you get to see the power, Rich. Right. You bastard. Oh yeah, the Gonna raven. Warn. It's the good stuff. Grace, are, are we? Is... Grace, are you coming for me yet? No, I'm not. I would just like to point out for the record that Mike saw that the wildlings were attacking and chose to keep it on top of the pile. I just think that's something that we all need to consider moving <laughs> forward about the Lannisters in this game. Think about every all of the, you. The you lion. Lost two troops. The lion that's is Mike's, not a club. Mike the lion. Has their blood on his hands. But it was mostly to get cursed and to lose more. And I, I, I'm a threat to no one. Uh, you're talking to the person who just got attacked three times. Yeah, say, so you should know that there's more people on my side against you than on your side. So then you're saying I'm not a threat to no one. Also, hey, I have friends. Like, uh, that Well, yeah, I'm not a threat, but maybe here. my friends are. So now that we know that there's no secret chat, are we opening up the floodgates of, like, secret chats? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. No, I think we should, we should all Everything be playing on the table. On right. the table. Yeah, if you like that fe that feature of the secret pact, yeah, <laughs> right. <there. laughs> Probably. We made up. We made up. We made yes. up. Yes, so we well timed. I love that it, it announces it, and then also if you attack them, it's like, guess the pact is broken, huh? Yeah, that's yeah, what I saw. You know, it broke the pact. Okay, let me let me re up. <laughs> let me re up. Let me re up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did we renew this, or Did we yeah. get this friendship down in writing somewhere. Yeah. Oh yeah, the wildlings are down to two. Yes, they. Yeah, I, th I think they don't go lower than two. So. We don't have to worry about the Night King in this game, right? 
I mean, well, I guess he I was sort he's... of represented in the form of the wildlings, right? Because this came out. Yeah. When did this? When did this come out? So there are a few expansions. I think this one is based on. I don't think it's the beginning of the. It might be the beginning of the books. Um, might be what this. They're very is. deeply roded in this, like five armies, right? You got Stannis and everybody running yeah. around. I mean, these are all the kings plus Dorn, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I think this is the beginning of the books and then um there are two expansions actually i think there's three expansions two that you could add to a digital game where uh one is the, and they're named after the book so i think that they update the map based mm, on where like they are the in books. the books so i think it's a oh, storm cool. of swords and then a dance with dragons and the thing that's really cool about i think dance with dragons makes it so uh makes it easier to play with less people one of the things that i find a little bit annoying about this game is if you play with four people essentially the tyrells and the martells like those essentially they're not like you just can't play as those characters and the board kind of gets closed off a little bit like a bunch of the the southern castles become the same as the eerie where they have strength uh but they're really high and then what dance of the dragons did is made it a little bit easier to play with four players and it also added in this feature where depending on who you you have tasks that you can do instead of getting the most castles you're trying to earn points but depending on who you are your tasks are worth different points so if you are Ooh. the starks controlling uh winterfell is worth wait less points why did you do a march points. order plus one next to me grace because uh -oh. I, uh -oh. Uh -oh. I don't have to move i saw you that you you know you don't have to move no, that's true you did show me that all right i'll i'll save judgment till the round's over uh so uh Billy i don't can like use... that you can either yeah. look at the wild link token or you could see that it's that's a special interesting I, march it's a plus one on combat to grace what are you doing i didn't i didn't know with the uh since i had the raven each time i didn't know that everyone gets to see all the tokens i thought it was just the raven person gets to see all the tokens no everybody can see all the tokens yeah. interesting um uh, just trying i'm just to not looking at them wait where <laughs> so on the board like everybody's tokens oh. are revealed right mike thought that he was the only one who could see everybody's uh, tokens. right Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm good here. This is fine. Look at that wildling card. Oh, yeah. Great. Cool. Okay. You put it on the top or the bottom? Da, da, da. Oh, my God. Oh, it doesn't matter. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely. It's right at the bottom. It's definitely on the ground, you guys. It's definitely on the ground. Uh, Taren, if you take out my... You can take out my support or my power... If you take out my power token, I think you get a power token. Oh, really? Yeah, I believe so. If I'm wrong about that, I do apologize. Okay. Yeah, you got to pass. Hey! Oh, yeah. Change. Nice. Oh. Done. So what do Robert I do here? Baron of the Dornish Marshall. Oh, gotcha. Where okay. are you moving? That's interesting. Just oh. out and about. Just sailing around. He's going to take his horse to the Old Town Port. <laughs> Just going to move that support there, soy. No, what are you doing? Well, I I didn't have anything else I could do. Wait, what did you remove? You removed something from on me? Ship, on Why? Ship Why? Huh? Why? Mostly so that you you couldn't use it. <laughs> <laughs> You're attacking me. Maybe. Okay. Let's push around the guy in last place. Lovely. You're not in last place. Well, little do you know, I'm friends with everyone surrounding me. So you come uh -huh. at me, we're going to come back at you. Kirsten, were you planning to go off into the Sunset Sea? Um, no, not at this time. Not at this time. She might at a later time, though, yeah, Taryn. Yeah, I was going to just well, leave that. It's just currently so unoccupied, so I figured. Well, because I had to get rid of my boat. Yeah. I I wouldn't be upset if you went into the Sunset Sea if it was part of a path north of me. But I would mm. be pretty sad if you went up there to then attack me, who is losing. I, I would not attack you I think here. He's going for Ooh, I like that okay, deal. Okay, yeah, I... I, then I'm I'm fine with you occupying that space at this time. I will not be going there. I'm deeply unconcerned with this green tide I see extend <laughs> south. Yeah, with the uh, with four castles. Yeah, as That's it extends fine. northwards, I might have to turn my attention away from the wall. Oh, I see how it is, <laughs> Philly. I don't, I'm just saying, I, I I get nervous up here, Taryn. That's all. Grace, please don't attack me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not below begging. Please don't do it. <laughs> 
I feel like Puya, you and I are in kind of the same situation. We're we're gonna end the game sixth and fifth, and it's gonna be glorious, Kirsten. Hey, maybe we'll be tied for fifth. That'd hey, be I, I cool. take that so, honestly. Cool. If you two, if you two want to team up with me and and take on Philly, uh, we can have a whole, a whole time. Oh my God! Why have the tides turned? This man has four <laughs> castles in, in richly fertile lands. <laughs> you're just, you're just killed by wild with Old Town, town sir. I've uh, just gotta say. I told you all before we even pressed play and knew who was who. I'd rather be with Taryn than against him, okay? I told you that from day freaking one, okay? Let's let's not act like the the head that sticks out the most doesn't get chopped off though in these games. Uh, I'm not yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, right I have heard that. Don't worry, I don't have the ability to do any chopping. Yeah, but I do. But I do have Grace with a machete right next to me, just sharpening <laughs> her tools. <laughs> no, I, I hear playing there. this game is a lot like Mario Kart, where it's like you don't want to be in first place for the yeah. majority of it, because like that's when uh, the blue shells come. There is a blue shell in this game. Yeah, I like. I'm almost. I'm almost. I feel like. I, I feel like this is an intentional strategy by Grace to let me seem like I'm winning, and then she's just gonna drop the they floor drop, out from under me. Yeah, in the last two rounds or something. <laughs> Maybe, Philly, maybe we can't afford to do. Maybe this is Grace's trick the whole time. Is mm. she's she's playing dead so that we'll fight amongst ourselves. And a masterful trick it is. Uh, yep, she's a wise woman. Mm. No, I'm the Martells. We're just sleeping around. That's what the Martells <laughs> do. <laughs> exactly what We're the Martells do. We're just poisoning do. our spears. She's Australia. Are we? I always thought. I always thought we were oh, like. There it I goes. Thought the Martells were like Spain. Uh, there's some real like Spanish influences there for sure. Yeah. Uh, actually, Westeros is fictional, y'all. So. Wait. <laughs> this is all make. What? I thought this was from. Yeah. Hate to, I thought hate it, to break it to you. Akin to Star what? Wars, this all happened a long, long time ago. I thought. I gotta tell you something about Star Wars too. Oh. <laughs> I've got bad news. Well, I don't know. All I'm saying is I've definitely been to the fingers before, so it's not fake. Oh. Oh, the fingers are taking over. Looks like Rich has also been to the fingers too. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Just visiting. Just, just passing. Just <laughs> I like that there's the fingers and like... then there's Flint's finger. Other yeah. Finger. The little well, finger. Yeah. And his little finger. Taryn, why don't you like, so uh, strategic question, I guess. Why is the three towers just free? There's only a barrel there. I don't know if it's worth holding. Fair. Because what do supplies do again? So they increase how many armies. So you see in the bottom left, there's like, uh, should be like a number, a, a number below the barrel, and then there's like these knight helmets. That tells you how many armies you can have. Oh, yeah, I'm probably wrong. Me. <laughs> they're not. Um... <gasps> Give me River Run back. Oh, here we go. Okay. Another Maybe tight so Mike battle. Comes in with six. Kirsten has five. The Ooh, six to six. Ties it up. Oh, snap. Uh, Mike is the... above Kirsten on the fiefdom track. So Mike would win a tie. Oh, oh wow. wow. What Mike a battle. Two power tokens. Oh, oh wow. Lannister That's huge. You're on crack. This is huge. <laughs> Mike just got two immunity yeah, idols. Your siege yeah. <laughs> so that did happen. The siege engine got destroyed. Yeah. Oh my own me. Well, shit. Uh, Grace, around. what are you doing? We're just, there's a, a feast at Storm's End that I needed that one footman to be there for. <laughs> <laughs> there's a, there's a thing I need to go to. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. I thought that was something was coming in from the north. Oh, wait. So, Philly, do you no longer own Castle Black? You didn't leave I a power token behind. I guess not. I was out of tokens. I didn't realize I was out of power tokens. That's my big uh, dropped castle right okay. there. Okay. Don't oh, worry. Okay. okay. Sneak attack. Later. Was it sneak attack? Puya asked me immediately. What are you doing with yeah. that plus one? <laughs> yeah. You took my support out. Oh, oh, oh. I yeah, can Karen, support. You can support. Karen, back, 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 back,
Okay. Darren, please. You asked me if I was coming for you, and I was not coming for you. Darren, I you, you didn't exactly ask for game. anything in return. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, Grace. Deal with my Here's Here's wrath. the problem, Grace. I asked you for Starfall. I had to, you made you me take stuff. it from you. Yeah, you got stuff. I asked, I asked you, Puya no, 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 hold on, no. you asked for the tie-breaking power, and he you, gave it to me. Hold on, hold on. Without hesitation. You asked hesitation. for Starfall after I had moved my, my units to Starfall. And then you attacked mm. me on the next turn. So I Let's review moved. the tapes. Like Let's, review. Let's review the tapes on, okay. on that one. I am correct, though. You, I'd already moved my tokens to Starfall, and then you took it on the same oh turn. You God. never, you never let me move out of Starfall. Get her, Taryn! Oh, the poor Baratheons uh, with their fate uh, in the hands oh, no. of these power players. Oh, okay. Whoa, oh, jeez. Oh. oh my God! Oh, then what did you do? <laughs> oh. Wait, how can I back myself? Because I have the sword. You just, uh, uh, end, you already you... did. I think that was the one support. So. No, 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 that wasn't... Uh, so panic in my heart. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. That launched uh, a thousand the ships. The support is from Blackwater Bay. So uh, you're currently winning. It, so you don't need to use the sword unless... If I'm beating you by one by the end of this, then you will you'll want to use the sword because then we tie and you would win a tie. Does that make sense? Can you repeat that? Okay, so it's currently eight to six for you. Uh, if if I'm beating you by one after we play our cards, you can then mm -hmm. use the sword, in which case we would tie, and then you would win because you are higher than me on the uh, on the sword track. Oh, I see. So theoretically, sense. if he plays a three, he can't lose unless there are trickies. That's right. She is still there holding is her a, red viper. Yeah. There is no uh, there is no tides of fate. Tides of fate are like a random thing. I didn't think to, I didn't want to add. And this is where like. At the end, there's like an extra plus or minus, so you can get. I add that. So, Taryn is totally right. If you play a three, uh, you cannot. You cannot. Lose. But make sure you read some of the, because some of them are tricky, right? Yes. There might be yeah. tricks. Yeah, there might be something that could extra help you. Whoo! Here we go. Crush that red viper's head. Yeah, it's the, the, the poor Doran Martell. Okay, Puya, which his, one should his, I move? In his little wheelchair. Bottom? Huh? Which one should I move? I played a card that lets me move you to the bottom of any infinite. I told track. you, Tricky! Which one would you like me to move you to the bottom of? Probably the Raven track, right? Because you're only you'd only be going down one and that doesn't make a difference, right? Yeah. I mean that's what I would want. Is that what you're gonna do? <laughs> I don't know. No, you can throw them all the way to the bottom of, throw them to the bottom of the sword. <laughs> I think I have to do that. <laughs> this is not a favor. Wow. <laughs> Brutal. You get win, out. Though. Get you out win. of Kingswood. Get out with this. Ruthless. We'll take that. Um, Choosing casualties. Yeah, you defeated. Uh, you, you, I think there was uh, a sword on there. Yes. This is a lot. <laughs> Tense, right? Yeah. What orders do I have? Um. I don't understand. Two, yeah, you, you have a. Do you have a marching order? Oh no! It's this is a uh, this is a uh, consolidate power. Oh okay. Oh yeah. Okay. So where where oh, you, you could either muster trim. or get your power tokens from high. That was very. I couldn't click the area. I had to click like the icon. Um. Taryn, we can review that tape uh, when we're done. I'll show you that. Uh, <laughs> I had already moved my token, and then you asked for Starfall. So. Yeah. <laughs> But I gave Terran the throne tiebreaker. He did. That was that was pretty that pretty, was pretty clutch. Yeah. Ooh, the vibes are so foul. <laughs> <laughs> a friendly afternoon of war and conquest it's mm -hmm. i just think yeah. it should be able to who's war and conquest yeah, player. yeah. i've played too much dungeons and dragons i'm like this is hard but it could be harder <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh one of the other expansion packs also include i believe it adds uh daenerys to the map 
as well. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah I want to fly in on a fucking dragon. Does she have anything, though, or do they do, like, the area east so as well? So, I, I can't remember. I believe it might actually extend the board, so that includes some of, uh, like, uh, Essos. And as we all know from has our favorite location, the Stepstones. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yes. Yeah. Whereas, who's can I play as the, the crab eater? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, nice. Um, yeah, and then you can play as uh, the Targaryens as well. Then you guys ever played Risk 2210? That's a good one with Ooh. the moon board and all like the crazy. It's got a couple of different boards, water bases. It's my favorite Risk. So wait, no, 2210, is, done... is, that, is that meant to take place in like a future? Time yeah, right? the far future. There's a whole like space race happening, Mike. There's a whole separate board for the moon that you have to colonize no. and like yeah. <laughs> start dropping like orbital missiles. It's hardcore. <laughs> it's I've only hard. done wow. Risk and then I've played Risk Legacy oh before, which was iconic because i unleashed the mutants in australia so then i was the only one allowed to be in australia <laughs> Ooh, if we had an extra show, we could play some risk legacy over there it was iconic it was and then at one point well basically there was like only one country in australia there was a country there were only i could start and it's the best one to start in so no one else could start there and then one time my friend eric said i'm go. gonna start in the country of oh. Jesus. and i said I'm starting in oh, mine okay, then, and I will okay. decimate you. Okay, so we're going to adjust right. the supply track. That's what I'm saying. You might have to lower your armies. And the then holder the of the messenger, messenger raven. raven. Yeah, go ahead, Mike. Go for it. Chooses the one of the following. Everyone bids on three influence tracks. Everyone collects one crown for every crown icon. Let's all control. profit. Let's or profit. that part has no effect. So yeah, it's all all on. Uh, it's all on who? It's all on uh, Philly here. Yeah, uh, yeah. We're all gonna profit. Take your crowns. Uh, let us wow. like feast mightily before we all die. Yeah, a yeah. feast for the crows. Okay, that's also interesting. We also then are gonna get the holder of the Valerian steel sword, which is Taryn, is going to choose one of the following conditions: no uh, defense orders, no march plus one orders, or no restrictions. Hmm. Ooh, big choices here. Put to the side. Stifle the offense. Oh, defense. No defense. There it is. Uh -oh. No defense. Yeah. Only offense. Yes. The best offense attack. is a good defense. Planning. Ooh, no defense tokens. Very tricky. Mm-hmm. Um, that would also mean you. there's no point in using your raid with a star because the only thing that can do compared to the other ones is remove a defense token, which will not be on the board. Well, that's smart to know. Thanks, Grace. I probably definitely use that raid with a star. You can switch it. Unless you already put in all your, your orders. Yeah. I didn't. Uh, I'm less inept than I thought I was. All right, Grace, you coming for me yet? Gosh, I am more winning. inept than I thought I the was. The problem is that, like, I just would have to go at you all alone. Like, there's nobody, nobody could help me, you know? Whereas I, yeah. Ooh. That sounds like a yes. Um. <laughs> no, it is, no, it is a, I'm still deciding, Taryn. <laughs> uh, the Tyrells have the backing of the Baratheon army. Oh, damn. Grace, I was willing to play nice, Grace, but then you, you, you sent for me, Grace. Are you coming? For, are you coming for me? No, but Grace I is about be defending to be collected. If you pull up, it's not worth it. It's to you. I was kind of. I didn't expect there to be so many supports. Uh, I should have known that Taryn would. Uh, Supports plus. 
Now, I was looking good on the influence tracks too until you sent me down to sixth. <laughs> yeah, you were wheeled a Nevalarian steel. Uh, it was nice. With it was a, style. Indeed. What a rush. What a rush mm -hmm. that one round was for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels good. Yeah. yeah. The top of the tracks. So. <laughs> Were you at the top of it, or you? No, you, Taryn was at the top of it, right? No, I was number one in the on the fiefdom. When I moved you down. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you crushed him. That's yeah. probably bad because then I gave it to Taryn. No, that's great. Taryn's great. Wow, are you saying Taryn's not a good <laughs> guy? Mm. Wow, well, wow y'all heard this, huh? Okay. This is the timeline where uh, Ranley and Marjorie really go on to live their best lives. Is that what's going on? Here? <laughs> yeah. He's alive. Everything's good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's interesting <laughs> though, considering the whole uh, Marjorie Laura situation, right? Like, uh, not to get too much into House of the Dragon, but you know, talk about double dipping in a manner of speaking. Puya, if you if you want the reach, I can help you. The reach. Oh, Where's man. the reach? Right in the middle. Oh, I don't want. Oh, that would be. I don't want the reach. What do you want? I want, I want goddamn King's Landing is what I want. <laughs> like, I want what's mine. Yeah, I've been like five rounds of time. Wait, you don't have King's Landing? No, no these poor guys just Wait, what's the, the point terrifying. of the Baratheons? He's Nothing, grinding. I got to start in first place. That's all it was. That was my benefit. Yeah, it's very weird that they And start... you get to drink wine they and go yes. hunting. They start the Baratheons in Dragonstone instead of in King's Landing. That's dumb. It's almost like the timeline of this is like when everyone is going after the Mad King, not it's, at the start of the books. Then. Well, it's very much, I think, right after right Bobby after. B goes down, right? And everybody is like scrambling yeah. for the throne, which have, is why it's empty. Puya, do you have, I think you can look at your hand. Do you have my, I'm able to look at your hand. You don't have Robert in your hand, I think. So that would make sense that it's right after. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's interesting. So it can't be anyone who's currently that. living. Oh, I would, I would, yeah, you can't, if you click on anybody's, like, tile on the left-hand side, you can see who's left in their hand. Oh, uh, Salador San, what a name. What a, a throwback. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, you can look at people. I did not know that. You can look yeah. at who they have you can left. Yeah, scope all your enemies' cards. Damn. And when you, like, grind out your deck, it resets. Is that correct, yep, Grace? Like, right. you get all the, met. yeah. Somebody... Uh, Roos Bolton, who is in Rich's hand, has, if you lose this combat, return your entire house card discard pile into your Ooh, hand. Ooh. Well, that's Useful nice. Roosful. Um, okay, what's <laughs> going on here? Useful Roosful. I've been podcasting with Mike too much. Uh, I know. Uh, um, let's just look at this wildling card and see how bad it is. Uh, we'll put it at the bottom. I don't know. Let's go. Let's live some life on the edge. I have no idea what's going to happen when they attack. Oh, so did, any, did anyone raid? Taryn can raid. Raiders. Ooh. Yeah. That's Raiders a good one. of the High Garden. Ooh, Taryn's moving from High Garden and from the Arbor and the Reach. I, I'm just saying, Grace, I, I wouldn't move down on Starfall. Might leave yourself open. Oh, Raiders. Oh, <gasps> sorry, I was oh, scared. I was no. scared. I was just scared. <laughs> oh, no. Gray Joys. I was just scared. It was purely defensive. <laughs> I was oh. just scared. Just you know, removed your support None. from the sea. Um, Where's your other raid token? I don't see it on the board. Oh. Oh, I do. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Oh, way up there. Yep, yeah, yep, yep. Up by the, uh, up by Pike. Please don't. It's hurt difficult me. to look at. Um, I think, I don't the think only I thing wanna... you can remove is the support in Iron Oh, Bay, I so Grace, that's what you did last round to me, right? You had a raid. That's how you remove my support from the seat. That that's, makes sense. That's right. Can I choose to not use it? You can. I think if you just click on it and. I think if you just click the arrow, yeah, it'll let you. Go. Just yeah, there we go. I don't want to. I don't want to take away the support. 
Thanks, Taryn. I would well, like to take away grade. support. <laughs> okay, well, that's not very nice. From me? I don't know what you're doing. No, I took it away from Taryn. All right, Grace, what's up with your plus plus one attack here? Uh, I just got I got to go hang out in the bone way. And I, you know, there's so many bones, so you might as well have a plus one there. Hmm. <laughs> Are these big right. brother fans back on Twitter Spaces again? again? They were this morning. Are we going to do a Twitter like, Spaces for this? Touch grass. Please touch grass. <laughs> Well, apparently, uh, I think Monty is now He back just on. joined, yeah. Oh, boy. I couldn't have scared him off for, for a full week with my interview. <laughs> All right, Grace. I, I don't want you attacking me here. It's okay. a big moment of truth. Whoa. Okay. But the one. Right. Okay. Next up are the Baratheons. I love the golf commentary here. <laughs> All right, let's see. Takes out his big hammer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Renly, least beloved of the brothers, perhaps the most tactical. Except when it comes to shadow wraiths, <laughs> killing him in the middle of the night. Uh, that's the question, isn't it? Do I want to war? With whom? With Storm's End. <laughs> I have no support. You would have a support. Yeah, she has she has a, she has a negative one for marching. So, I, I that doesn't that's not. Um, oh right, that's only for attack. If she, for if moving, you were to attack. yeah. I get my straight the yeah my straight defense. Well, my queer defense, but yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. yes, we, 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 we are the most. Um, I have a question <laughs> about. I have a question about King's Landing. So it's a five strength, right? Because of the neutral I, force. It's a, uh, you could try it with your support, like if you're trying, because I I think your support might count. It's it's just, your cards it don't count. My cards don't count, but so I've got um, but the, got the three ship, plus one. Yeah, I've got the knight, but then I have a ship breaker bay support over there would that go over there or is that That's too far still only four though no you're no and i've got the one in blackwater your bay ship, ship breaker bay is too far and taryn cook technically led okay. to support to you as well oh taryn would you could i with oh, black with you could try that if blackwater mm -hmm. would let him you take what happens if it doesn't work though does he uh, well i just lose my unit i think they just like retreat and they stay where they are I, I eh, let's give it a shot i think they don't let you push in on yeah, it if probably. you can't beat it yeah is that makes sense as you? well. They probably like lock you out of it if you if it was impossible. That's why I kept losing to the computer last night because they definitely <laughs> spent like eight rounds trying to attack a castle. It wouldn't let me attack yet. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah. so it's a I don't think it's giving me the option. Oh, it would no, really? Yeah. You can, you can. It says you're choosing to support. Should let you know. It's saying it's choosing whether to lend a support or not. Oh, nope, no, nope, that was it. You're done. You're dead. Oh, shit. That, okay. Um, yeah, that sucks. That's fine. We learned a thing. Oh, it's gonna let you move again. It's, is it? Puya selecting a march order to resolve. Yeah, because oh. I've got the other. I've got the other. Oh, I think I think you did. You only move with one person. Yeah. yeah. I think you probably needed to move with both in order to get the numbers. Yeah, I got paranoid. <laughs> I didn't know. I wasn't sure. <laughs> I mean, you uh, Puyo, I will not. Again. I will not move into Storm's End if you or Kingswood if you uh, if that's what you're worried about. Well, it's, uh, now it's late because I've already used that one move, so maybe I'll do that in the next round. I'll just but, but it's put. telling you that you get to move, but you shouldn't get to go again. Like it should be. If, if that it's was your turn, I moved. It's because I moved my knight and my like my footman and my knight had movements. I guess I don't know. Because you can still move your oh, whichever you one out. The other one is your footman. Okay. Yeah, 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 the one. Oh no, I can move both. I guess. Yeah, you can move both before oh! you. Move. I, I think that weird. that's calling that like that didn't work. Well, that's what, no, that's what I, I did when I attacked a curse. Let's try. Time. I moved so you said you wouldn't go there. Let's see. I will not go there. Take both of them with hell. your two support. That's fine. Uh, oh, so just move. Oh, no, there we go. Yeah, so now you're up to four. But now. And then it says Taryn choosing whether to support. Yeah, okay, no, now I can I can support now. 
Oh, there yeah. we go. If I so I can I can support multiple times, right? Yes. I it think it's only. I removed. thought it was only once per round that you could use the sword to support. It's not the sword it's, though. It's, it's, it's different. The support token on the board. He has a. Oh, unit. got it. Yes, yes, yes. Got Do it, Terran, please. Okay, so support. Look at this late game cooperation. So in why the did game it go from? Oh, there we son. go. Okay. There we go. Yes! Yay! Huzzah! Long live the king. I think that just made it easier for Taryn to take it from Puya <laughs> than it was to get it originally. Just for the record. Not a terrible I think plan. it's still... Oh, yeah, the five gets removed now, so... Yeah, so now it's it. just whatever I have going on there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're just something I observed. No, no, no. Taryn's good. Taryn's good. We're safe. Everything's good. There we go. That's better. Ooh. The retaking of Castle Black. <laughs> How is it turn five? And I feel like I've done nothing. Yeah, so our, our out is in about an hour. So we will see. So we might want to be keeping an eye on how many castles people are. Oh, I see how it yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it technically has been that way the whole time, but yes. true. Mike, does your mic, uh, does your camera keep falling? No, uh, I'm watching it on a screen and the thing is on the bottom. So I have to like look over. To oh, click the button. oh, gotcha. Oh, gotcha. I just thought Mike kept wanting to show us his crotch. And I was like, I'm going to have to contact HR about that. <laughs> <laughs> and I realized HR is Mike's wife. Now so. this is the way to play. <laughs> the, oh uh, the YouTube God. edit will be mostly Mike's crotch. <laughs> shake it, shake Get it. Get those dollars. First day of the month, become a patron. Do you accept loonies? Oh yeah, and make it hail. <laughs> Loonies for my toonies. Better. Ew. Uh... Taren, what are you, Taren, what are you thinking? Just, oh just, wow. Just there we go. Oh, up, up, up and away. The fingers. I see you, sir. Just saying hi. You know, I want, I've always wanted to visit up north. At this point, yeah, Taryn has said hello to everybody now. Taryn, yeah. you hate the cold. It's true. I, look, it's just a visit. I don't want to stay. <laughs> Karen now Stop has five castles in Stronghold. Uh, do I? And a very strong <laughs> unit in the Reach. Yeah, if you look at the top, uh, actually on the side, it'll tell you how many castles. Are I see. I see. I Everyone see. Everyone has three uh, except yeah. me who has two, and then Taryn has five. I see lots of castles up There's there. There's threes. Lots of threes. Um. Yeah. Kristen, why hadn't you gone for Flint's finger? Listen, I don't have an answer to that, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> now I should move into the Kingswood like I said I wouldn't do, right? Oh, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Break the word. Mm -hmm. oh, just kidding. Just a little oh, Thank you, Grace. Treacherous. What you what you doing there, Grace? Oh, oh, I I wanted what you doing there. So it's kind of a way like if I now have an army now I can do something with that unit like I could try to muster or whatever. That's my that was my plan. No. Interesting. I just I can't do anything with it this it. round. I can't do anything with it. So this round. This round, eh? Okay. Are you gonna go for King's Landing? It's the only thing you could really do with your reach movement here, I think. If I'm, I mean, you could you could attack me, but your siege unit is for zero. You you could do that, but it's very interesting. But yeah, I feel like I feel like he might try to attack you here. I don't. I'm good. I don't. But he has four. <laughs> he just pledged to support to get four, King's six, Landing. Eight, Cameron, don't yeah, why would nine, I support 10, him to get King's 11. Landing just to take it back? Well, here's the thing. Okay, here's the thing. It'd be eleven. It'd be eleven to to four, I think, on that on that now, battle. I don't know. Heron Hall's looking real delicious, you know. But he can't get there this turn. Here's the thing. I um. He's only two this, castles away. It really. Okay. This is this is my Suri moment. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Which season? Um, <laughs> he's gonna cross a balance. <laughs> this is my three moment because hopefully I read the 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 rules correctly. Um, uh, Puya, yeah. I'm I I I don't I'm not betraying you. I'm you, just I'm you just ending the game. Off? I'm just ending oh. the game. Oh, do that. I hope. Fine. Right? Okay. This is my plan. I'm gonna do this. Oh no! I'm you can only move. attack one castle just so you know i think i believe 
He's got some tricks, I think. Oh, I damn. think I this know. Is, again, this is, a, this is a Suri moment. If I've I read the rules incorrectly, wonder, then it might be uh, devastating a, to, my, a to my chances. To four. I think that, uh, yeah, he's got some moves here. Okay, so Taryn is attacking King's Landing. It's nine to four. Uh, Puyo's at the bo- Somebody put Puyo at the bottom of the FIFA track, which seems like a really oh bad idea in retrospect. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, it's Pat Wars. Trouble. If you're attacking and move the marcher into the conqueror. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, he's got big plays. Discard oh, wow. a card from Taryn's hand, Puya, I believe. And then he's gonna take crack claw points. I see. Yes! I see. It worked! I see. Yep. Yep. Damn. And, that, and that's it? Is that game? No, no, no. We'll see. There's well, not necessarily. Bad. It's pretty high, though. It's like going to be seven to... Yeah. Took out my, my best card. Took out his best card. Yeah, I thought that. I assumed that's what I had to do. Might, might, be, a tricky, might be a tricky play. Seven to three, I think, is what this battle will be if I'm looking at it. I wanted to move all of them in, but I, I think I realized that if I didn't leave the knight there, that he could retreat into the reach and take one of my castles. Right. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Puyo, do you want me to just take out a hand from Taryn's card? Should, should I, should I can I just try to him? back you up, I think, uh, uh, Baratheons. All right. I mean, here's the here's the here's the 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 meat and potatoes team. The game might end. If you want to keep playing, you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do to prevent yeah, that from happening. You know, look, or we can just like look. We said you know uh, we had an out, an out in fifty minutes. And then uh, we got a great sequel for next <laughs> time. Yeah, I can go either way here. I can no, go either I way think, here. Here's the thing: like if we keep going with the game, who's to say that Terran won't win anyway? So like, might as well then just uh, oh, have, have fun snap. and keep it going. She went for it. Wow. I'm just trying to burn a card from his hand, uh, Puya. I think. Interesting. Don't muck around, Grace. Get the weed eater out. Darren, if you lose this castle, all of that was for. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I don't know if there's any tricks. I feel like there are going to be tricks that you can she's going to play. No, you can look at my hand. I, my hand might not be visible while we're in combat, but I can tell you. I can look at your hand. Oh, yeah. yeah it has the, the red yeah. viper. Like That's pretty scary. The red yeah, viper is pretty, pretty terrifying. Pretty, pretty it looks so sexy. Ooh. Yeah, quite dashing. Yeah, so I've used my one and my zero. My four has two swords oh. and, a, and, a, oh. and a tower. And the tiebreaker goes to Terran, right? It goes to me, yeah. so I win. Boom! And I actually, my unit will die too. Oh yeah. my! I did that on purpose, Grace. Yeah. I know. Oh my god! <laughs> I chose the one that would kill your unit. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is it. Oh my! Own. I can move both of my. You just walk into Ron with a unit, right? As long as you have a power Do... token, you can leave it in Blackwater Bay. But will he be able to retreat into King's Landing? Mm, he. Uh... I would imagine he can, right? I think with a power token, I'm not sure. Uh, I I actually really don't know. Um, let me see if there's a rule. Oh my god. Uh... Wait, this where is are probably we talking always about? Always... okay. So the the situation that Terran's worried about is that he will defeat that unit, but it will retreat into King's Landing, <laughs> therefore <laughs> controlling King's Landing, and Terran does not win. I, mean, I could also uh, say that I won't retreat there and retreat somewhere else. Uh, gosh, I really don't. I really don't know. Um, I don't think he can. That seems crazy. If he could, that's quite a loophole. Retreats and I think if you, le- I feel like if you leave a power token there, then they no, can't okay. retreat into it. The retreating it, units must attack. retreat to one empty adjacent area, i.e., one containing no enemy units or enemy control marker. Oh, so I'm, I could have used my whole force <laughs> the whole time. You could. Have, yes. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. Let's see it. This could be for the win. Taryn, you're March. using you're using the exact strategy no! I talked to you about before, which is you have one very strong ally and then use them. To oh, win. seven to two. God damn. Oh my god. And Taryn has the sword, so Ooh, I got you your back, Bobby B. I don't know. How useful. It'll yeah, be. This yeah is we'll it. see. I'll die with out. you. The old one support. The old one support. Okay. Only you oh, had a I don't know, dude. <laughs> well, oh, hey, yeah. Tar- do you have your five? We got you have your four here. card. I don't. He got rid of it. But you have the, the but card. you have the you have the sword. So 
it wouldn't. Oh, but don't, but don't break it in your favor. Ah, uh, this yeah. sucks. I actually, I, I'll admit, I feel a lot more confident for playing this game another time in the future. Yeah, there we go. I feel better I now, for sure. All, like, play this competitively every week now? Is that the... That's right. <laughs> no. Game of Thrones League. No. no. Randall Tar Tarly over. is the uh, hero of the Game of Thrones. Oh, the heartbreak. Yes! I rolled too slow. Tyro! Whoa, oh, twice. my Ooh. God. <laughs> we just handed it over. Game. Brutal. Ooh, we all get crossed out? Wow. Feels like we, we all lost. Against, lost. Feels like we would revolt against the tyros. <laughs> I do have to say, in this reality, That's what happens where Marjorie next. ends up on top, like I'm kind of okay with that. I'm right? Okay. Like I'm like, okay, yeah. you know what? Yeah, Actually, best worse. case scenario. Yeah. Yeah. Compared to the rest of these degenerates running around in this place. Like, <laughs> oh, I got Marjorie's an achievement on real win, you know? I mean, the thing is, is if you had won, I would have just assumed that that was Sansa, like in control of everything, which is yeah. my yeah. ultimate preferred outcome. You yeah. know. Gr great, Fair. Grace. I need to know. Did you go easy on me? Uh, I feel like my biggest mistake was attacking Puya instead of just going for you. It was my yeah. See, mistake. see, see, you, you, you fight um, the Baratheons. You make a mistake. That's yeah. what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I think I think coming in, no matter what, aligned, we all thought it was going to be Terran. So I think it was just delaying the inevitable. I'm glad we yeah, went no, two hours. The move is you align with the Baratheons early. You give them what they want, and then you just take it back from them and take the win. That's how, <laughs> <laughs> that's how it goes. But yeah, if it wasn't the game-ending move, it wouldn't have ever happened. I know, and I appreciate it. I mean, I was like, you know, fair enough. You got to go for that win at the end. Got to go for that win at the end. Yeah. Good job, Terrence. Like power play. Uh, you seriously say you learn on the fly, and you, you showed that off. Yeah, that, I, uh, I saw that card, and I was like, hmm, this could be useful in the future. <laughs> I feel like there is, <laughs> yeah, there is some stuff in terms of if we were to play this again. As I said, I joked before, when House of the Dragon Season 2 comes back, perhaps we will uh, reunite and play again. It looks um, or sooner, because that's going to be a minute, okay, right? All right. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, yeah, it feels like, you know, now you can see there's certain cards that people have. I kept thinking about the one that, you know, you did card you, you lose you get to pull all of your hand back in your card you have that one which lets you like sort of keep moving um so yeah uh, the more you play Just the more sneak you around know all the rules to pike right? was very impressive taryn i saw that space sitting yeah. open but i didn't want to antagonize my neighbors to the south i just didn't hmm. want that headache uh, and like the slip in there i was like oh no we're doomed now yep uh, yeah Taryn, you joined the likes of frail mary in terms of a roll call win so congratulations oh boy and I joined the ranks of Puya, who came last in Catan 2. Oh, oh and 2. Would you like to come back next month, Puya? Oh, no, no Puya, did, did I came last. last. Yeah. I came last in Game of Thrones, the board game. You came in second okay. last. Tied. No, I had one. I had one castle at the end. I wasn't last? Wow. <laughs> See how quick hey! you switched that? I think it went, I think it went uh, Terran, Philly, me, Grace, yeah. you, Puya. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we'll keep I stats. Somebody, if somebody out there is like a, a stat uh, keeper, if you go back to like Catan and then this game, you'd be keeping the stats for me. That would be amazing. Um, <laughs> well, this is very fun. Thanks for playing. I feel like you actually were all very quick learners. And I, I did tell people, I was like, when I first pitched this game, I was like, Rob, I really want to play the game of Thrones board game. And uh, Rob was like, how long does it take? And I was like, sometimes five hours. And he was like, I will pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This um, took less time than Catan, though, if we did. look at the time Yeah, stamps. I think so. Yeah. yeah. True. I I was like when I saw the when I saw the opening I was like, this can't be right. Like this game can't be over this fast, right? Like, <laughs> it did. I said I, I've seen it like you know four or five rounds. That was round five, I think. Yeah, round five. Yeah. Yep. The How many rounds does it go power. usually? Ten. ten. Like ten is I've seen. Yeah. Well, typically someone will get seven before before ten. But yeah, Terry, you used my time honor tradition. I did tell you my strategy before the game, which is you have one ally who never betrays mm. until you need a win, and then you betray them for the win, <laughs> and then they can't be. You know, there's no more moves. There's no backlash. Look, I over. learned from the best. Yeah. And like story wise, this is great because when you edit it down, we yeah. got our not so secret alliance first. That's that true. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Actually, fair. And yeah. You know what? Yeah. Here's the thing. Tara never betrayed me because I was so useless that he never had to. <laughs> and that feels good. Yeah. It feels good. All right. Very fun. Uh, let's very quickly we'll go around the horn. People can tell uh, folks what they're up to. Uh, Philly, why don't you go first? What do you got going uh, on? Yeah, it's me. I'm DM Philly. I'm at DM Philly on Twitter. You can hit me up. I'm podcasting about a bunch of stuff with you and Mike. I'm talking about Star Wars and the House of the Dragon and the Rings of Power. An interview with the vampires coming up. I stream a bunch of Dungeons and Dragons and tabletop role-playing games with Grace and a bunch of our friends from Post Show Recaps. We have a little channel, twitch.tv slash DM Philly. I'm a tiny little guy compared to these titans of the industry with us uh thank you for having me though grace it was a treat 
No problem. Uh, Mike, what about you? Oh, yeah, thank you so much for having me on. I do realize now, like, uh, I'm the only, like, Todd streamer amongst mm -hmm. this entire group. <laughs> so I'm happy to represent all the plebs out there, all the residents of Flea Bottom, if you will. I name Mike Bloom type. I'm doing a butt ton of reality TV stuff uh, as shows are ending and starting. ExitPressAparade.com uh, podcast, mainly the B&B, &B, double tap in with Big Brother and Survivor this weekend. And as Rich mentioned, Posher recaps. Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, which I will hype up, had an incredible episode uh, this Dope. past week. House of the Dragon, we shall see. Grace, you and I are going to be talking about it. Uh, yeah. Probably like, what, a day and like six hours from now, basically. We're going to be talking about it, uh, doing the the first uh, re response recap to everything that's happening there. Talking heroes with Josh Wiggler as well. So, yeah, plenty happening. And here's one more shot for the money. There we go. Taryn, what about you? <laughs> Uh, you can find me over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Darren Armstrong. I think we'll be probably be playing some Goose Goose Duck tomorrow uh, with with the, the crew. Um, and, man, what else? Uh, tomorrow night, House of the Dragon, we'll be talking on the book club with Grace and Rich. Uh, Grace will be filling in for uh, for Josh, uh, who has uh, departed his... his uh, <laughs> Watch has ended. <laughs> we moved him down to the bottom of the track. The influence. Yes, uh, sure. moved him down. Mm -hmm. um, at some point this week, I will find time to record a Survivor podcast for the Survivor Stock Watch. Uh, so you can check that out. I've got some fun Survivor stuff coming up next week. Um, and uh, stay tuned for more Big Brother postseason coverage because uh, we're trying to put some stuff together. Very fun, Puya. Y'all can find me on Twitter at Puyaism. Taryn is not wrong. Tomorrow at 5 p.m. We're back to 5 p.m. for Sundays now. Our Goose Goose Duck lobby continues. Uh, so you can find me over there, twitch.tv slash Puya. Uh, 90 Day Fiance podcast still going strong. Uh, I will be talking to Scally next week. Uh, I did talk to Kirsten this week. Um, and then Mass Singer with Liana. It's a weird season, but we're watching it. So check us out over there on the Mass Singer wrap up as well. Kirsten? Yes, yeah, so Sasha and I are on the Mess of Magnets talking pop culture, celeb gossip, and anything trending. If you go over to the Rob Has a Podcast YouTube, there's a little clip from this week's episode where Sasha explained the Try Guys controversy to me uh, as someone who had no idea who any of those people are. I was uh, going to have also, them on for this, but uh, their whole thing, their whole crew. It's, it's controversial. They, yeah. they, had a, they had a different engagement. <laughs> <laughs> they had a different consensual workplace engagement. Yeah. Um, also, I, as Puya said, I guested on the 90 Day Fiance uh, Happily Ever Ever podcast last week. I also guested on the Bachelor in Paradise wrap up premiere episode with Amy filling in for Haley and Bojack Horse Pod. We're still doing it. We're talking Tuca and Birdie, having a ton of fun. And you can follow me everywhere at Kirsten Said What, including twitch.tv slash Kirsten Said What, which I actually think I'm going to go live and like. 10 minutes to play some fall guys if anyone wants to come over there jump over there cool. yeah also if anyone here wants to play some fall guys hit me up let me know cool i am on twitter at hi from grace uh mike mentioned uh house of the dragon so did you mention an interview with the vampire we're covering that i did uh, yeah very perfect. quickly yeah great uh i have movie coverage we cover don't worry darling uh as i said on twitter some worries darling uh also uh we're covering bros next week so that should be very fun um yeah lots more over there and uh we'll be back next month with a new crew of people with another game uh this has been very fun thanks for joining me until 